In their reaction to this weird little tan uplifting stories video, they add their own jokes and commentary. Even if you'd already seen the video they were reacting to, you'd have plenty to gain from watching their reaction. It's a different piece of content now. Here we go. Oh, wasting time. Oh! <laughs> what a story. <laughs> this is the story. This is what they're doing. Uh, great story, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Do they kill themselves? Soot House is exceptional, and the whole cast clearly all understand that reaction content is something that it requires effort to do properly. Now, their particular style is by no means the only way- They just make jokes. Plenty of reaction people make jokes. I don't understand. Now, their particular style is by no means the only way to do reaction content. It's a very diverse medium. I don't get it. Do reaction content? Does this person shit on Hassan in this video? Essentially, they're just, just reposting something someone else made to them. They are anti-low effort reaction content and seem to have never looked past Hassan beyond, beyond the interaction they had personally. I don't think Hassan has low effort reactions. What's like, instead of making jokes, he talks about politics. Los Angeles, California, South Central. South Central. And uh, tell me about your. Uh, down to La Brea and shit. We walk down to La Brea and so I said, and So today I'm going to take you on a sightseeing tour of the oddities. This is literally Steak HQ. Hold on. I I'm going to be back in one second. Of 8,800 Blue Lick Road. <laughs> I don't think Hassan has low effort reactions. Clearly play a critical This with no health insurance. The job doesn't offer it, and our affordable marketplaces aren't very affordable. If I get sick, and I don't have a test positive, I can't go to the hospital, you know, if you come and show support, I need some pizza and lashes, I need pizza, I need to know what they're going to build. What? People can't even get the situation to work for this. What does the situation actually need? Like, a little way, you have a fix. You know, True. And that man's story is- I don't think Hassan has low effort Here's a compilation I put together of everything, everything that Jinx says over the course of his reaction to this compilation. Are you ready? Here we go. Let's see, really? Wow. What? 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 What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the hell? Not the buns. What? To be fair, the ASDF movie compilation and shit is very hard to have, like, critical analysis of because they last like five seconds i don't think this is the greatest display if you want to like show somebody not react because what am i supposed to go like oh big text oh gun funny cop at door oh horse exploding that's so fun like th these are literally manufactured to be so fast that like you have what are you supposed to say what is the good reaction? All right, guys, let's go frame by frame. Let's go frame by frame, okay? Here we go. So we see as the particles of the horse start disintegrating, like, this is not, like, you're not gonna get the high-end top shelf shit here. This is like, the whole thing is just like, what? As intro, Rory explains he's gonna be watching the Astro Movie episodes one to eight compilation. I know a lot of people do requesting this one, like, back and forth, like, and, like, one through eight, like, one at a time, but it's kind of hard to find each and every one of them, like. It's kind of hard to, I'm sorry, to, to quote you, what?
If a part of your work relies on you uploading other people's content, then you better make sure that's not all you're doing, otherwise you're just re-uploading other people's content. It's fine to do that if you have permission, but it's not if you don't. So let's take this back to the golden rule. How, as a React content creator, do you avoid taking the piss? Well, I think that so long as you're clearly trying, it's fine. You don't have to knock it out of the park every time, so long as there's clearly a respect and understanding there that you are working with someone else's content, I think you're good. I agree the chair is disrespectful, but this, to act like this is even, honestly, a, a, a trackable amount of time in every one of his streams is a bit, like, laughable. Like, in some of his streams, he has, like, 20 minutes of this. But in, like, most of his streams, he's not, like, gone for, like, an hour or two, and it's just the chair. To my knowledge. Um, to my knowledge. It could be the case, but I, I've yet to see any content where he is he has gone for such prolonged periods of time. Um... It's, it's usually less than that. If you want to make the argument he's eating a lot too, like, I, I don't know what to say to you. 30 minutes every eight hours, 24 minutes. So it's 24 minutes every eight hour stream. I, I don't think that's ridiculous. <laughs> I, I think that is fine. Um, personally, but maybe I, it's too much. Pot I, I think 24 minutes every eight hours is fine of AFK time, but yeah, I, I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to the bank on that one. This That's messy. like negligible. Yeah. Like who could, like you're going to spend in eight hours, you're probably going to spend at least a couple of those minutes going to the bathroom. God forbid you have to take a shit. The biggest flex you can do is when you have not one, but two fucking side-by-side -side bathrooms, you know what I mean? No, not really. No, I really don't know what he means by this. I'm not sure if- Okay, this person is just- this person just doesn't like a son. That's- that's just what this is, because the- who, who- if you- you know when you shit on him for saying two bathrooms instead of two toilets, that you're down bad, like, just- just fucking go about your business. Supposed to be a joke, a serious comment, or a mix of the two? Is he trying to say that a flex is normally something extravagant and unnecessary, and this is extravagant and unnecessary? I guess yeah. Yeah, it's a bit weird. Why would you pay for a second toilet installation? The house is full of loads of boxes. Having that many boxes just means they could be a streamer, to be honest. Honestly, I really don't know what he means by this one either, but this is the first- PO box, simple, it's incredibly simple, in multiple of his other fucking shit, you can see a million boxes behind him for PO boxes, I'm assuming. Alright, that's where I see a lot of streamers getting their PO boxes, but who really cares? It's not about whether or not you get the joke, it's not about whether or not the jokes are good, the question is whether or not he makes the jokes. I don't know, maybe this is one example of the video or whatever, he's gonna be like really shitty about it but instance where i feel that i'm just missing the reference like i think it's pretty clear that he's making some kind of joke here i just don't get it now i think by this point you probably understand the nature of hassan's commentary what the it's fuck you got a urinal next to it this is gonna be the one time i say something that sounds a bit probably petty of this person uh can we stop with this purple lighting shit it's really fucking annoying i it's it's a really cringe I'm doing fine. I'm incredibly lucky to be able to work YouTube as my job. I like I it. I just don't well, The know. reason everybody does it is because a bunch of people like it. I just want people to get over it because it's fucking annoying to see everybody do like pink and fucking purple lighting. It's like, bro, you're not fucking recreating Shakespeare. Can I... Can I just watch a video? Well, he turns it off before I can say any of that stuff. Growth industry? That's everything I have for you today. This has just been a very small project on the side as I work on something much bigger. My full critique and breakdown of seasons 11 okay, and I'm gonna 12. Okay, I'm going to add you into the call. Yeah, and he wants to be in. Um... Wow, good job he did that. This was... <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of Sigma, dude. <laughs> that was a bit Sigma, dude. <laughs>
Hassan. My point here isn't that I desperately want Hassan to shout me out. I don't need that. I don't want that. I am fine. The point is that this is his attitude when making reaction content, and he could end up doing this to anyone. The point of this video isn't like a petition to get me the recognition I deserve for my joke about how there are two toilets next to each other. The point of this video is- what, what does this person have to say about clip channels of Hassan that are currently up that Hassan allows to exist and even make money? Would he just say that Hassan is just being a good guy? What about a bunch of the streamers that allow this to happen? Is this just whatever? If a part of your work relies on you uploading other people's content, then you better make sure that's not all you're doing, otherwise you're just re-uploading other people's content. It's fine to do that if you have permission, but it's not if you don't. With the property. Now that urinal in a residential bathroom is a strange decision. So it's a, it's a house that- That pizza isn't even pizza. That shit is leather. Why the fuck did he take a bite of that shit looking like a boot? What? You see that shit? Had to eat that fucking bitch like it was like, uh, some leathery ass fucking meat. Like, ah, like, dude, what? What is that, bro? It's like nine years old. It's fucking bread. It's like crust is like fucking fused together like cement. I'm not the biggest Hassan fan, but I feel a lot of streamers just watch random videos to react to while they eat, so I don't feel like it's that bad that he does this. Everyone's doing it, so it's okay. Um, I, I think- Well, like, legitimately, I, I think this is a problem that this person has. If I am a streamer, and I go to eat, do I just end my stream? What do I do? What am I supposed to do? Do I just end my stream? Or could I just not stream 12 hours a day? Pause the video and do what? Just sit there and eat? Cook stream? You think everybody's got the fucking 4K super soaker lens inside of your fucking... Uh, their, their kitchen? Eat and chat? Usually you're not doing much chatting when you're eating. Your mouth is often preoccupied by eating. So if he really does run on a model of I will just repost your content and if you don't like it, you have to reach out to me to tell me to stop, which like, yeah, he does. Then there being no way- Wait, there's, there's like nothing wrong with assuming that everybody's content is fair game for reaction. I don't think that it should be the job of creators to keep an eye on Are every- Are we looping? Twi yeah, this person's actually really shit at making content that's focused specifically on a topic. And this isn't just one isolated comment. A depressing number of people seem to not- know who is, reacted. is this just a I hate Hassan Hard? video? Uh, this is a little say the same thing a hundred different uh, times a hundred different ways video. It's a problem with long man YouTube videos. Yeah, it reminds me of fucking books. Let me proceed to make 9,000 examples so I can fill the next 100 pages with this. And then we'll move on to the next topic. It's incredibly unlikely that some large streamer reacting to your video, especially if you're a smaller content creator, is going to result in a net negative for your channel. It is extremely unlikely. Even if we assume that a lot, or even in the event that a lot of these people don't end up like going over to your channel, you get streams exactly like what is happening right now. This would have never happened, this video, right now, this stream would have never happened if Hassan wasn't the main, like, uh, top of discussion on it, right? And uh, the, the word of mouth, the recognition of this person as a character that exists and remembering, oh, it's that guy. Yeah, that guy. I remember that guy. And shit can go a long way. What's the fucking saying? No, all press is good press or whatever. I agree that you can react to content better or worse, but like the idea that uh, you aren't gaining from this is like, obviously, like, what are you doing? It won't bother. This isn't the kind of thing that YouTube All analytics can tell us, so we yeah. just... Reminder, JXL and his buddies got plenty of clout from this. 300k views on their two podcasts talking about this, and mostly just the exclusivity for literally 20 hours. Like, this is what I'm talking about.
I don't, I don't know. Like, bro. I've had Hassan talk about my clip and not even watch it for 10 seconds. And I've had people come to my channel about it. I promise you, if he doesn't link your fucking video and doesn't talk very much about it, that people, it, it, it can benefit you. I promise you that it can happen. Okay? Right? That, and from my perspective, this is not a good look. It just seems like the person's really mad. Um, regardless of the circumstances, they're just big mad. I'm not saying that anything that they're saying is necessarily wrong. What I'm saying is it feels like they're hanging on to things and that their motivations are a bit cringe. And they're hanging on to points for too long that are really weird. They're addressing things that are really, like, I don't know. It's, I guess this is a YouTuber fucking shit. I don't know. It's like, I'm not clout chasing. I, prom I promise I'm not clout. I made no money off of this when we know that's literally a lie. When you can verify in 30 seconds that they're lying, like RTBA did. They juiced this shit dry. They juiced it, milked it. Look, he literally, he's juicing it so hard, he managed to take a several month old video and just do video 2.0. Let's be honest. This video was, You hate Hassan because you think he is stealing your content. Nice I speech. just hate Hassan. We are not the same. True. He managed to literally just do, Hey, how can I take that old drama that I was farming from that massive streamer, and how can I do it again? And he did it again. He just did it for a second time. Like, the, the recycling machine is on maximum overdrive right now. He's like, yeah, you know what? Actually, I need an idea for a video. You know that old drama that happened? Let's just talk about it again in the same way when nothing has changed. It's, I don't know. It's just like the, the idea that this person hasn't profited off of it and shit. I don't know. Half the argument is built on him not providing anything to the content creator, which just isn't true. As RTBA uh, fucking linked... With a bunch of, I just don't like it when people like lie in order to make their point more like succinct, I guess. Like this shit? Like are you joking? When we're talking about these? Obviously these are nine hours long. They're not all talking about consistently a song, you even have the uh, other shit in it. But like it like bro, I don't I don't know what to tell you. He's like front page and there's for a reason. He's making the money. Is Mueller it's this it's his friends. It's this is his podcast that he's on. To my now, or at least that's what uh, uh, the lad was saying. His argument is that he didn't make money off of him watching the video or his content. That the, he can make money off of the song drama is not a surprise to to anyone. But that's how half the time you make money. Or it could make him look like the biggest gaping asshole who ever lived. Just such a fucking dingus, dude. They just the show their no, channel no, name, dumbass. How is that so fucking hard? Like, what is this attitude that you have? You stupid fuck. Man, how are both those clips from the same stream? Well, all will be explained, and I feel that I need to stop. I, was that that bad? Was that that bad? Not okay to, uh, you know, play someone else's video if they don't want you to play it. And, I mean, it is good that he has this attitude, but ultimately, the phrase bare minimum does spring to mind. Like, yeah, him saying this is better than the alternative, but the alternative would be him going, I don't care how the creator feels. I get to take whoever's content I want, and, and then doing an evil laugh, saying sorry. Wait, and what are his options, though? You can't just... This is... I don't know, this to, he doesn't have any other option. His option either is to be an asshole or to quote unquote do the bare minimum. This is like if I give you a really big stick, right? And I say to you, you have two options. You can either beat an old lady with this stick or not. And you go, I'm just not gonna beat an old lady with the stick. And then you go, well, I mean like that's the bare minimum. It's like, bro, you gave me two options. Like, I, I don't know how you could critique somebody who only has two options in that circumstance, but okay. He has you a lot of options. No, he has two. The two options for his response. 
his response, he has two options. One is to say, hey, I'm going to continue watching the video, or two, I'm not. Those are his two options. That's it. There is no other options in material reality that he can, he can do. Somebody's like, hey, stop watching my videos. What can you do? You have two options. Say, fuck off, or say, yeah, sure, my bad, and stop. And then to go, oh, well, yeah, you, you did stop, so... Yeah, you, I mean, but that's like the bare minimum. And? Those are my only options. Huh? Link to video? No! He was talking about his response. His response to the specific statement about whether or not he was going to continue watching the video after the person was like, yo, fuck off. That's what he was talking about. He didn't say I mean, stop watching the video. I, it was about him watching the content without due, without due process, without permission. And his response being, hey, I'm going to stop watching your videos because what you're representing as my, my content or whatever the fuck is the bare minimum. Yeah, whatever. I'm just going to stop watching your video because he even said later, specifically, when a YouTuber says for you to stop watching a video then that means that you should stop watching their content a youtuber has the right to be able to retract their consent for you to be able to watch a youtube video so clearly this is interpreting in his mind in one very specific way and i believe it is a reasonable way based off of the way, the, the interactions that he had with this individual which is stop watching my fucking content jesus his response could have been, oh, I will give credit or not walk away. No. What do you mean? No, he couldn't. It's uh, after the fact. How is he? Do you have a time machine? It, maybe I forgot. Maybe we have time machines. Is that possible? I, I never knew that was like, wow, that's crazy. What, what are you talking about? You couldn't really ask for a more explicit declaration that he's not going to change the way he does things. I am From then happy. onwards, from then onwards, he could fucking do that. Sure, he could, if he wanted to, for this person. But the, re the reasonable interpretation that he had of the person's content who directly told him to fuck off was, I'm not going to watch your video. It feels as though you don't want to wa want me to watch your video. That is fine. It is well within your right to retract your consent for me to watch your video. And e either way, in the... Even in the video itself, right there, he is talking about the person, talking about the specific individual. I don't know what you're talking, like, he never gave them credit. He did give them credit. He talked about the video. He talked about the creator of the video At, with great extension. I don't know what you're referencing. There's two options. Recognize that the individual has the right to be able to retract their consent for you to be able to watch their video or don't. Based on what this individual said, it is unbelievably reasonable to get that interpretation that he told him to fuck off. It is so unbelievably reasonable that I feel like your mind is fucking tainted if you believe that, that, that Hassan was obtuse for coming to that fucking conclusion. With the fucking this stream that he did, fucking shitting on Hassan, with the fucking tweets that he made about Hassan, it is unbelievably reasonable if you actually watch this fucking video that he was just telling him to fuck off. It was unbelievably reasonable, but whatever. We can just act like it's not reasonable to do because we want to just act like it's not reasonable. That's fine. Perfectly fine. This is just the standard. Can you rewind it? I'm not, I can't rewind the fucking hour long video that he is watching in conjunction with, or, or sorry, not in conjunction in the fucking uh, video because he didn't fucking play it. What do you mean? No, I can't do that. That's not where we're, if somebody wants to link the original video. But recognize there was creators... no consent. He did. He did recognize there was no consent given. He went on to say that it is usually assumed that consent is given for all YouTube videos. You fucking idiots. I'm sorry. You are making me so fucking frustrated. That, and from my perspective, this is not a good look. It just seems like the person's really mad. Are you fucking kidding? Are you joking? Are you joking? I, I'm, I'm in a Looney Tunes world. The assumption is not baseless, you fucking moron. I shouldn't have to DM audit the audit to watch one of his fucking YouTube videos on my stream. You fucking moron. That, and from my perspective, this is not a good look. It just seems like the person's really mad. I have to DM Jay before I fucking watch this video of them. What? is wrong with you i have to send out fucking 500 dms before my stream so i have to watch it fucking blow yourself dude go just fucking jerk yourself off right now just, I, I don't know what it is 
You, you need you need a blowjob, dude. You can do it yourself. I trust me, dude. I promise. I'm really mad. You do some yoga or some stretching or something, dude. You need to let you need some release, okay? You, you need some fucking release. Fucking. If he took oh. Hassan to uh, to court for copyright infringement, do you think he could win? Based on what we've seen, which is only half of the video. I mean, I can't responsibly make a hard claim, but based on what we've seen, yeah, probably. I don't want to shit on this person for this. I don't- I actually don't want to shit it, but I'm gonna use it as a springboard here. How do pictures work when it comes to this, right? Idea. Like, unironically, though. Do I have to source the- every picture that I might use on my stream? Like, you know what I'm saying? You absolutely do? What about my desktop background? Let's say I have a cycle of desktop backgrounds on my stream. Do I have to source all of those? Yes? Nah, fuck that. I'm sorry. Fuck you, fuck that. Nah. It's XQC's old house? No, I've fucking- Right now, if you're interested in purchasing it. And it's, uh, you know, they say you don't really know someone until you've, uh, held hands while taking it down. This digital property viewing is one of those things where the longer you stare at the image, the more bizarre things you notice. So today I'm gonna take you on a sightseeing tour of the oddities. This is literally stake HQ. Hold on, I I'm gonna be back in one second. Of 8,800 Blue Lick Road. If we start at the entrance, you're greeted by a minions brand doormat that really no home is complete without. Yes, the main living area. You want to go upstairs? Just take the same open living room slash kitchen. You know, I don't <laughs> They live is to us. Is to <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they, maybe they got family yeah, out here. Us. Hey, there's three trash cans in here. That is why pretty weird. <laughs> I blame Soda Tartar. Let's see what the doors leading off the I am here for investigative purposes, okay? I'm a journalist. I'm a political journalist, all right? I'm here for investigative purposes, all right? I need to make sure that the content stays untainted. So don't tell me to react harder, you fucking quacks. Oh, look, more boxes. I think this YouTuber, this J person, really has a problem with saying the same thing over and over again. Because as I've been listening to them, they've made the same stuff comment probably like 30 times this video. They got a lot of stuff. That's a lot of things. There's a lot of boxes, a lot of things. There's, I don't know. It's just, they seem to really like uh, these objects. It's like, bro, like 10 is enough, but like, come on, man. Wait, what? Can we talk about the, the three? Base, what the is this? Three boxes of Rice Krispies? Well, it was filled with Oh no, it's two. The two boxes of Rice Krispies ready to go on the countertop. My boy knows how to party. Boxes of CDs and DVDs. More eagle eye money makers. Definitely the second half is more charitable to Hassan than the first half. So I think there is a little bit of motivated cringeness going on when it came from the dude looking through his stream. Because the second half he did offer a little bit more, but I'll grant you it was not enough for me to say like... This was responsibly done. Could it pass fair use? I don't know. I ain't no fucking lawyer. But I think that, like, the spirit of the law says, like, no shot, homie. I feel like that's a no shot, honestly. I pretty much had already seen most of that fucking video through different angles from this dude anyway. So, uh, yeah, I was just wanting to see... I was pretty much watching a song the whole time, and it was... It was pretty much just the, the, the content on the screen. Is there a source for this? Like, what is this standard that we're climbing to when it comes to sourcing our shit? Shouldn't we have to source this? Flat out incorrect, but again, we've already covered it. He also makes the free clout argument- It's his wife, and? He adds something to it that we've not seen before. Most YouTubers don't mind that- uh, It's actually probably love a stock that clip shit. he bought. Do people buy stock clips? I'm letting you know, a lot of streamers do this. <laughs> A lot of streamers is it's called like farming the like, was it the clip channels. All right. Do you know how many YouTube channels are made up of just like clips or straight up fucking vods that are ripped from people? It happens. I have, I think, three different channels right now on YouTube that are just uploading 
my fucking segments. I don't give a fuck. With no comment, raw, raw shit. I don't care, okay? I don't give a fuck. I'm not saying that everybody needs to give a fuck, but the idea that it is like nobody gives a fuck, streamers are just built different. I don't know what it is. Streamers just don't care. Just because you don't care doesn't make it intellectually consistent and right though. Wait, then why would you do this segment at all? Why would you even get anybody's opinion at all? Most YouTubers don't mind that, actually love that shit when Twitch streamers react to their videos because they get a fucking word. fat bump. We still have the free clout argument, but now it's also packaged with the idea that most YouTubers support and like this kind of thing happening. Most other uh, content creators on YouTube and all around don't give a shit if you watch their videos Asshole. or they like it. They literally like it. They want you to watch their videos. Please record your answer and send it to me. Would you be okay with it if a streamer played one of your videos in full on their stream without saying much or really adding anything? No. Fuck no. Uh, no I would not. Yes. No. Well, I mean, I could kind of do with it. Are they, are they willing to pay? No, I don't think I would be okay with the streamer playing one of my videos in its entirety without even really adding to it. If they give me a shout out and try to send people my way, then sure. But otherwise, no. 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 YouTubers, if, you're, if, if no matter what they say, your mind is made up. That sounds so stupid to me. What if everybody said that they were okay with somebody doing this? And you went, well, I mean, it's morally wrong anyway, so. Like, the fuck? If they would be okay with it, and most of them said no. I chose these YouTubers literally at random from people I already had DMs with. We've got a good selection of different styles. I, I, I am very sure that there is no bias in that at all. Would you be okay with somebody restreaming you with more viewers and making more money than you? Yeah, hell yeah. Yes, it's happened before. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Uh, yeah, in fact, I want you to make a, I, if somebody, if a big streamer is t saying for, is, is like thinking about restreaming somebody, suggest me, yes, I want them to do that. Why not? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, you just named how a lot of streamers become big. Yes, I want that. Hassan is not a good example of somebody that is like going to be a somebody that is, is okay or referring to this. There are plenty of people that do this shit where they let people upload four hour rips of their stream. Four hour fucking rips of their stream. Is, is Hassan Abi VOD's backup? Is, are they providing like extra content here by uploading this four hour rip. And we can look this up for other even incredibly large streamers doing this, but there are some that have cracked down pretty hard. Don't get me wrong. It is definitely a mixed bag, 100% mixed bag, but he's not alone in this. That adds something and reaction. Content I don't understand really your point here. It's simple. There are large streamers that don't give a fuck about people straight up stealing their content and posting it online. There is, there is a plenty of people that don't care at all. Creators That's on the them then? My point then is, no matter the evidence that somebody provides to you when it comes to anecdote, if that's the case, you don't give a fuck about the anecdotes of people, why the fuck are you bringing up anecdotes in the first place? Most YouTubers don't mind that, actually love that shit when Twitch streamers react to their videos because they get a fucking word. fat bump. We still have the free clout argument, but now it's also packaged with the idea that most YouTubers support and like this kind of thing happening. Most other uh, content creators on YouTube and all around don't give a shit. Most of them said no. I chose these YouTubers literally at random from people I already had DMs with. We've got a good selection of different styles, different topics, different channel sizes, and yeah, a lot of no's in there. And the majority of yeses had caveats and conditions, which again, just goes to show the importance of mutual respect when doing this kind of thing. If he's gonna be like, here's a list of my friends that do not approve of people uh, putting up raw cuts of their content, if I were to show you large streamers, large YouTubers or something that are cool with it, don't really care about it, don't really crack down on it, and then you're like, yeah, yeah, but whatever, who really cares, who really cares, who really cares, the fuck are you doing in the first place? That's really disingenuous then. That shit's cringe as fuck. That's my point. 
if you're going to play ball, play ball. Otherwise, don't act like you're ready to swing the fucking... Swing on the pitch, man. Please give credit and contribute something. He says, oh, this person doesn't want me reacting to their content. If you don't want me watching your stuff, I will gladly never watch it. I'm really sorry. I this was primarily in response to the fucking video that he did. With this. He was clearly fucking incredibly upset with the tweet threat. Dude, this is so not fair to him. When you include the context of the video that it is under... The video in the comment section it is under, it was really inflammatory towards Hassan. And if you include the tweet context, it was really inflammatory towards Hassan. But whatever, we'll just we'll just amend all of that. If you'd like, that's fine. Apologize. I will never watch I literally remember watching the video. I remember when the video that Hassan is referring to, that that comment is under, I remember when that video came out, every, there was a bunch of people that wanted me to watch it. I stopped watching it because of how cringe it was. This person was just sitting there and doing this and just shitting on Hassan for an hour. I personally stopped watching it. Like, that takes a lot. So this was the original drama. I mean, this is like not that relevant, to be honest. Yeah, I walk away while this video is going on. Because I'm fucking, uh, what do you call it? I'm cooking and I'm eating. And uh, they didn't like my uh, react. They were like, react harder. Hassle, hassle, hassle. I guess they did one on Charlie too recently. You get yelled at for pausing and talking too much, then you get yelled at for not reacting hard enough. What are you supposed to do now? I mean, wh what the fuck do you mean? I I'm literally going to do exactly what I've been doing. Which is, whatever the fuck I want to do, bitch. What, what are you talking about? Dankies, dankies, dankies. Wait, did he walk away? Wait, what the fuck? Why? Why? What? Why did they walk away? <laughs> when he I said- I wonder why we didn't watch Hassan's reaction to the video, where in which he felt as though there was inflammatory statements made towards him. I wonder why we haven't watched that. Maybe he will. As Most YouTubers don't mind that, actually love that shit when Twitch streamers react to their videos. He's talking about just Twitch reactions in general, which, yeah, most YouTubers do appreciate. I appreciate that. I really like it when that kind of thing happens to me. But what Hassan seems to not understand is that most YouTubers do have a line where they're no longer okay with the reaction content. This line is gonna be in a different place for different creators. Most YouTubers like to receive reactions, but far, far fewer are comfortable with being used as filler as the streamer has some downtime. This is a distinction that it's- I'm sorry, that's the way that every streamer uses it. Let's be fair. All right, let's be on. Come on, let's keep it honest. All right, let's let's stop fucking around with the fuck around. Let's be honest, okay? <laughs> we all like retreat to you guys when we're out of content. That's what you're there for, okay? Your YouTube content is there when I ain't got nothing else left to talk about, dude. Let's be straight about our business. The Welcome to the Game series is a phenomenal series of games. It is my personal favorite game to watch on Twitch. It is my personal favorite game to watch on Twitch. Of, of all time favorite game number one is welcome to the game and like scrutinized the creator of that game publicly stated i don't know if they stay to this publicly stated that that game more people watch it on twitch than they do buy it and that is a issue that they have with the game because people would or more specifically that people would rather watch the game be played on youtube or twitch than actually buy the game itself would you say then that those people are out of line for streaming that game? Like, that is a fair, like, legitimate thought process. Is that an unfair thing to do? You know? And I personally, I don't think it matters unless the creator explicitly specifies that they don't want the game streamed. Well, then, me then I would care, but in, in, until that happens, I don't think you have a moral responsibility. But uh, that's all from me today. If you've enjoyed this video, good. I, 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 oh no. I honestly just straight up believe that video was just a second video about that Hassan shit. I, I don't buy for a second that it was about honestly anything else. It, it, it felt exactly like the other video, but it was just 2.0. You told, you're telling me that I have to- Show the channel name, Relly you leech. I, if I get anybody who does that in earnest, I know you're memeing. Uh, if I get anybody that does that in earnest, bro, 
I'm gonna have to log off. All right. I'm gonna have to log off. All right. I can't do this. I would even guess that one of the podcast uh, dweebs told uh, Jay that Hassan said on his stream uh, his mom is not there and he will start cooking food in AFKing on stream again. So it made them make themselves. Uh, relevant again with a, a second go at the video. I don't know about anything like that. I think that well, uh, uh, you're saying like that's the motivation for making this video. I, I have no idea. Honestly, I got no fucking idea. I don't keep super up to date with that. That just felt like it was a, another video to just shit on his son to be able to get back to that for whatever reason. That's that's all that really felt. It, 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 it was literally a video about a son. Anybody that says otherwise is being stupid like it, it was just a video like about a song and it felt like the original video that they had before was like whatever i'll be willing to take an l on this in the future so you may have noticed that all right i will be back i should be done getting ready by the end of this video smile Okay. <laughs> what a story. <laughs> This is the story. This is what Tyson's I'm doing. Uh, great story. It makes work so much better. <laughs> this is just fucking pictures of some random. <laughs> Do they kill themselves? Soot House is exceptional, and the whole. Sorry, why am I muted? I don't even, I don't, I didn't even mute myself. I'm so mauled. Being a React content streamer, you, you're like, so, I mean, all streamers on some level are so disincentivized for, from like leaving their computer. And <laughs> when you're a React streamer, there are people, there are so many people who hate React streamers just because they're React streamers. Like literally no other reason. It's just like, you're a React streamer. I don't like you. Um, and It'll be like, oh, React streaming is so easy. Like, look, watch, I'm going to do it. Walks away from computer. It's like, okay, dude, I, the React streamers spend like 90, 95, 98% of their time on stream. And they leave for five minutes, barely, after streaming for hours and hours and hours. And then it's like, and they leave something to watch. And people are like, why? Why would you? Oh, my God, you're literally stealing content. It's like, okay, dude. I'm worried this video is just going to be like, a bit of a cope. So like it feels, I don't know. I can't say for sure. Maybe the video is actually really, really good. But it feels like certain people have a certain idea of what should be or what ought to be. Such that no one, chew your food first. No, make me. Um, Such that like they feel they need to dictate what other people's content is like, I guess. Streaming isn't supposed to be watching uh, 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 boobies and getting in a hot tub. That's not what you're supposed to do. You know what I mean? And it's like, okay, well, who are you to dictate that? The platform should dictate that or, you know, DMCA's would dictate that. You know what I mean? And also, it's the same thing with this. It's like, I know you have an idea of what you think React content should be. But, you know, that's... That's like your opinion, man. The video says you should add something when watching other people's videos. Yeah, I mean, I recognize that. But the thing is, there's no such... I, are there streamers who just watch content and say nothing? Literally nothing the whole time? And if you have a problem and you're like, I don't want you to be able to watch my content on your stream, then you can just fucking send a fucking DMCA notice or whatever. If you're reacting to one video and you are reacting to the video and then you're going to edit it down. You're going to just edit down all the things that you said that were funny. And if you think of something that's funny later, you can just go back in and talk about it. You know what I mean? So you can be like, 
Wait, so like, what, 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 oh my god, I'm reacting. Look at the funny. Oh my god, funny. And then you, and then there, when there's like blocks where you're saying nothing, you just cut that out because it's not funny. But on stream, you have to do that for like, like fucking five hours straight. Are you kidding me? You can't be that funny for that long. Also, the people who be like, why don't you react harder? Tend to be the most unfunny people on the planet. They tend to be the people who like, you can you can create a whole ass setup for them and they can't even like capitalize. On stream, there would be downtime where commentary can't be made and chat would lose its mind if the streamer kept pausing. Dude, chat like gets mad at me for pausing. I bet you there's someone in here who's like, can this stupid bitch just press play? <laughs> She's watched 30 minutes of the video. Truly, how are we going to get through this hour? You know what I mean? Is this a Frogan emote or is this like... Uh, like a BTTV emote because Chad just you know don't don't take other people's emotes for the people who in here who make emotes and stuff or publish them don't take other people's emotes <laughs> just whips right over top knocks him okay I already feel like there's a bias here because so far every single person that he's shown on stream that makes good react content is not American so this guy just doesn't like Americans for sure he's so far shown like three or four different people or whatever the fuck is, and they've all all of them have been non-American so if a reactor hasn't added anything and watching their reaction is basically just the same experience as watching whatever they're reacting to, then essentially they're just reposting something someone else made to their audience, reaping the rewards of someone else's work under the guise of reacting to it. Wrong. This is literally wrong. If anything, this th this video should have been edited because I know videos that are this long tend to take like an hour, t ten hour tend to take like months to make or at least a month to make from talking with more like video essayists and stuff um sorry okay there's like some chips in my teeth um what was i gonna say oh yeah this should have been very evident <clears throat> From, like, the amount of people that wanted to watch, like, Death Note on stream. Or the amount of people that want to watch, like, MasterChef or Hell's Kitchen on stream. Like, it stops being one person making content. Like, a person making React content. And it starts being, like, a bunch of people watching something together as, like, friends almost. Right? So, like, even if, like... There are times when I am streaming Hell's Kitchen and I don't even feel like I'm adding that much. But it's, like, about, like, the community watching like in the same way that like watching a movie by yourself is always almost always going to be less fun than watching it with other people do you know what i mean and i think that this really was like amplified and like made obvious during like the peak of like the you know pokemon getting banned and t disguised toasts and everything like that just a watch party yeah exactly the community it's fun to watch something together as a community so I wouldn't watch shows like Master of or HQ without HK without people like you or Hassan. There's an entertainment value. Yeah, of course. It's like vibing with stoner friends. Exactly. Yeah. I I think that this in specific or like this guy, I don't know. I don't know anything about this dude, but like um, this guy, obviously this is more lazy content or whatever. But like, first of all, A, I don't know who the fuck is watching this. And B, like, is it literally just you don't want someone else to profit because you're putting in so much hard work and they aren't? Then why don't you do what they're doing? Do you know what I mean? Like, this is the thing that I don't really understand. Because it's not like they're benefiting at, like, your... Maybe on YouTube it's a little bit different because if people watch their video instead of yours... It, it, like, these videos are so boring that, like, surely, like, who cares? And if you really think that, like, this content is so easy and it's fucked up that they're profiting so much, like, then why don't you just make the content? It's like, well, I'm better than that. It's like... Okay then I don't know what to tell you. You know what I mean? Like, okay. Also, yeah, is this guy to really think he's making a discovery finding out that like React content is low effort? That's the thing that I don't get either. It's like everybody knows React content is low effort. You know what I mean? I know React content is low effort because I've made like fucking videos. The videos take so much more time. They take like hours and hours and hours of time. And, and also, I think it's different skills. I think being able to like watch a video and point out all the funny things, all the where's the funny is it has its own like you have to have your own skill to be able to do that, that you have to like practice and train or whatever the fuck. Whereas like you making YouTube videos has their own skills as well. You know what I mean? Like there are so many videos. There are so many people who like you can sit down and w watch a video with them and they have nothing to say about the video. 
You know what I mean? They'll be like, oh, that was a good video. And it's like, do you have any other opinions or anything? So like they're, they take different skills. I still think that um, React content is easier, but I don't like this like, I don't like this shitting on React content for literally like no reason or whatever. I don't know. It's why I watch like 20 React videos for the Halo TV series. I want to be, I want to feel the hype with others. Exactly. Exactly. And for this video where Jinx just freeboots someone else's work, adding nothing, he gets five million views. I'm not salty. Now, what I'm not doing here is I am definitely- But see, like, he's self-aware. So, like, see, he's, like, literally self-aware. You know what I mean? That it's, it's, at the end of the day, a lot of this is, like, it feels like most people have a direct emotion about something. And then they try to come up with some rationalization on like why their emotion is valid rather than the other way around. So like rather than, hey, this is how, you know, these are like, this is information about this thing and my opinions about these things. And this should make you feel a certain way. It feels like most people do this. And like he's self-aware about the fact that like at the end of the day, a lot of his reasoning or whatever probably for making this video has to do with the fact that it's like I'm mad that these people get to make such low effort content and I don't think that they should be able to and I'm going to come up with rationalizations after the fact post hoc rather than the other way around you know what I mean if I was an animator I would make react content including my own animations animators are notorious about being non-content brain I know this sounds like weird jealousy. Why does this do care about what other people are doing? Yeah, I, I just don't I just don't get it. And if you don't like that other people are reacting to your content, you can just probably, first of all, A, you can message these people most of the time and be like, don't react to my content. I don't want you to react to my content. And if they are still reacting or whatever, then, or like you don't feel like they're reacting hard enough, then you can always try and like fucking DMCA them or whatever the fuck. It just seems weird. Like, especially like maybe it's from my perspective too. When I make YouTube content, I want people to watch it on their stream. I want people to watch my content on their stream. So I don't even get the perspective of like, no, d why, don't watch my content or whatever. I don't know. Like a Twitch streamer watching your video is not, if anything, you're probably going to get more subs and viewers because a Twitch streamer is watching your video. Do you know what I mean? Like a YouTuber on the same platform as you is kind of, I can see how you can view that as like, they're literally taking views away from you. So instead of like, if someone looks up your video title on YouTube, they might click on yours first or whatever. Jack made this video essay very early in the React Metis before we knew React channels helped or hurt channel growth. Wait, but this is February. This just came out yesterday. Sorry. And obviously begging. Jack is well within his rights to react this way because there's really no meaningful difference between what Jinx did and someone just downloading and then reposting one of Jack's videos. Just because some people are okay with this kind of thing doesn't mean you get to go around doing it to everyone. Your partner might be really into hard cactus play, but before you whip out your favorite Acanthosarius tetragonus, you're going to check. I chose this picture because it looked a bit like a willy. There's a very clear reason that- <laughs> Oh my god, I'm sorry, that wasn't funny at all. It was so cringe. <laughs> this was the worst analogy in the world! Oh my god, I'm so- I'm cringing so hard. Oh, I- oh, I chose this picture because it looked like a willy. Did I mention I'm British? <laughs> like, oh my god! <laughs> Bro, you should have deleted that. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry that Jinx attracted this kind of backlash with his content. No, you know what would be really funny? Getting up and going to the bathroom and letting it play. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> you like to watch political content and political streaming reaction stuff because it's like you're getting someone that curates videos for you for like five, six, seven, eight hours. You know what I mean? You don't have to go on YouTube and be like, funny video, good video to watch, want to watch video while eating. You know what I mean? You get to just open a stream and you know this streamer is going to have content that's going to be worth watching. It's kind of like a lose-lose for streamers, sort of, because if you, if you like, you guys understand, like if you're streaming for a lot of hours, sometimes you just like need a break. Like you just want to like go like take a walk for five minutes and you want to know, you want to know what? Um... You would never want someone who works customer service to work like 
five, six, seven, eight hours a day without a single like five minute, 10 minute break. Do you know what I mean? And streamers are not incentivized to pause the videos while they're gone because when you fucking leave your computer, you can see any big streamer talk about this. Amaranth has talked about this. Hassan has talked about this. I can tell you from personal experience, this is true. When you pause the video, literally you can, I have had times where I pause the video or like I unpause it or whatever. I, and I go literally for five minutes, not never longer than fucking five minutes to go get, to go get food. Cause I'm fucking hungry and I will lose like a quarter of my audience. Hassan is like a big enough streamer that it doesn't really matter. And he can just pause the video and that's fine. But like, this is still like people's like income or whatever. Like this is still people's like jobs or whatever. It's like the equivalent of like, you know, like, like ad block for YouTubers. You know what I mean? I'd rather watch Denim's react to this video than watch it myself. Drew! Like, I'm sorry that like you got unlucky. Reaction content is as old as civilization itself. Mainstream news like Kaka Talson are just reacting to the events of the day and sometimes even include video clips from Twitter that they didn't film themselves. True! Most clips that like you find on like CNN or MSM or whatever, any of those fucking news organizations, usually they find clips on Twitter and then they, they have to, I think legally, they, they have to message these people and be like, is it all right if we use your video in channel whatever news or whatever? A friend of mine had like recorded this fucking like crazy storm in New York once and like they, she posted on, on Twitter and I forgot, if, I forgot what news channel messaged her. They messaged her on Twitter and they were like, could we use your video uh, for tomorrow's news cycle? And she was like, yeah, go for it. And so like, it's, you know what I mean? His response would be pretty obvious. It's not the content creator's responsibility to entertain the audience while you take a break. Yeah, no, I mean like, I, I think that it, both are valid, you know, and both are like, I think probably the, the original content creator has more of like a defense, but I'm just explaining why people, why streamers don't pause the video. It's because like when streamers pause the video, lots of people are like, okay, well, I'm going to go watch something else. You know what I mean? And if, if you're a big content creator, maybe you shouldn't do that because you have enough viewers that it's fine. But if you're a smaller content creator, like you don't even have the like ability to do that or whatever. Not like ability, but you guys understand what I mean. I understand that you got unlucky jxe and that hassan happened to go to the bathroom when your video was playing but like 99 percent of probably his content he is like hardcore pausanabi reacting you know what i mean i feel like he usually finds a clip for us to watch when he goes anywhere yeah i feel like it's it's gotta be like uh it, it's gotta be i don't know like someone who has a disability or something right um i'm not sure what part of okay sorry I i'm gonna say it again i'm literally gonna say it again um this just seems like coping i'm sorry this just i'm so sorry Okay, I have to say something really quickly. I think the meta for this conversation is pretty hectic. Technically, need at least a reasonable streaming permission to play a video game on stream, but people do it with a little pushback. Yeah, obviously. Oh, shouldn't this guy be happy as some reaction to his content at all? I mean, it's just something. He's, he doesn't like that he walked off on his content and he's stealing his content or whatever. Why isn't the reactor laughing at my jokes? Also, like, there is, like, literally content that, like, you have nothing you can add. So, like, okay, really quickly. A couple of points. For starters, A, I want to go back to the point about uh, how live streaming content is always going to be different than YouTube content because you can't edit out all of like all of the the bits and pieces. Do you know what I mean? Like you can't edit out all of the little like uh um like etc. You know what I mean? Like there are a lot of portions during a, a react stream where you're like you're Sometimes you get like terrible brain fog or you're thinking about other things. Like, I'm sorry, guys, if you have you guys ever been at work before and then you get like a message from someone and they're like, oh, my God, like my cat just died or something like that. And you literally can't think about work because you're too busy trying to like comfort this person or you're too busy thinking about this or this or this or this or whatever. Um, this happens to me all the time where I'll be too busy thinking about something else while I'm co constantly trying to think of a point to talk about on stream. And then it ends up just coming off as like, um, this is like the uh, you know whatever blah 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 you know what i mean 
Um, and also, yeah, Hassan apologized and said he wouldn't watch Jade's videos anymore. So I don't even understand, like, what? You know what I mean? Um, the fourth of all doesn't really exist on Twitch. Also, I think Hassan said it was because chat was rolling the homeowner. Oh, okay, yeah. I mean, that makes sense. That makes sense. I don't have a chair planted in front of my laundry machine just so I can watch it run, but each to their own, eh? I feel like it's it's got to be like uh, it it's got to be. I don't know. Like someone who has a disability or something, right? Like it doesn't make any sense. Oh, wait. The true fuck you would be for Hassan to not even watch this video on stream. Or for Hassan to watch the video on stream and went go to the bathroom the whole time. <laughs> I literally can't even wait to the end of the video to make my commentary. Otherwise, I'm going to get called. I'm going to be called on another lazy react streamer. Who, who isn't saying anything. So I literally have to be bad faith, whatever the fuck, and pause champing and saying my opinions, like, all the way through. Do you know what I mean? Why watch it on stream then if you can't add anything to it? Well, Wade Carroll, I see this is your first message here, or at least for today, it is your, no, it is your first message ever. If you could wait for two seconds, if you could wait, Wade, haha, get it, wordplay, um, for just two seconds, okay, um, I was literally gonna say my second point, okay, I literally can't even wait to the end of the video to make my commentary, otherwise, I'm gonna get called, I'm gonna be called on another lazy react streamer who who isn't saying anything so i literally have to be bad faith whatever the fuck and pause champing and saying my opinions like all the way through do you know what i mean <laughs> so how can there be so much time left in this video i don't know um, sometimes you can't perform occasionally. It can be weird for someone to not understand that. Especially if you just... I was literally going to say my second point, okay? Literally my second point has been... There is content I literally don't watch on stream because I have nothing to say or react to it. So like I literally told people stop sending me FD signifiers videos because I love them so much. But I have nothing to add to the content. And what, what YouTubers don't understand is chat will like bother the fuck out of you. And they'll be like, watch this video, watch this video, watch this video, watch this video. And like, you'll have like tens of people spamming it. And then you watch it and there's nothing you can add to it. Like, I literally don't want, I literally don't want to watch FD Signifier's videos. Not because they're bad, but because they're so good. I have nothing to add to them. This should have been very evident. <clears throat> From like the amount of people that wanted to watch like Death Note on stream or the amount of people that want to watch like MasterChef or Hell's Kitchen on stream. Like it stops being one person making content, like a person making react content. And it starts being like a bunch of people watching something together as like friends almost. Right? So like even if like there are times when I am streaming Hell's Kitchen and I don't even feel like I'm adding that much. But it's like about like the community watching like in the same way that like watching a movie by yourself is always almost always going to be less fun than watching it with other people do you know what i mean and i think that this really was like amplified and like made obvious during like the peak of like the you know pokemon getting banned and t disguised toasts and everything like that just a watch party yeah exactly the community it's fun to watch something together as a community so I wouldn't watch shows like Master of or HQ without HK without people like you or Hassan. There's an entertainment value. Yeah, of course. It's like vibing with stoner friends. Exactly. Yeah. Good content does not equal good react content. Exactly. The whole point of react would be showing that your reaction, it defeats the purpose if you already know the content. Yeah, exactly. Three hour video essay plus podcast plus video joking about it plus tweets. And now this video, I know. This messy, weird house has made Hassan conclude, hmm, yes, only a disabled could have caused this. That's what he sounds like. Shut up. What? 
Okay, sorry. I've been trying to be pretty good faith in this video, but like this reading of like Hassan saying like this person could be disabled is one of the biggest fucking jokes in the fucking world. This is such a weird bad faith interpretation of Hassan's commentary. Hassan's commentary on this is, hey, people who are in any way, shape, or form disabled tend to have less spoons to spend on making sure that their house is perfectly clean. And to like just be like, oh, look at this fucking incel slob. And then later finding out that this person is disabled makes you probably feel like a real asshole, which is probably why Hassan was saying, hey, this person could be disabled and that's why their house looks this way. Not to say that all disabled people have dirty houses, but it's not it's not too strange to consider that someone who is disabled would have a house that's a little messier because they literally don't have enough energy or physical ability to do as much cleaning as people who aren't neurodivergent can. I don't have a chair planted in front of my laundry machine just so I can watch it run, but each to their own, eh? I feel like it's it's got to be like uh, it it's got to be. I don't know. Like someone who has a disability or something, right? Like it doesn't make any sense. Oh, wait. Like literally like Hassan, what is this? What was this weird interpretation? This was so bad faith. What the fuck? And apparently chat says that Hassan was defending the homeowner because people were trash talking about the mess in chat. I think Hassan's point was that you shouldn't make fun of someone's house looking like this because it could be caused by a disability. This video thinks he was making fun of disabilities. I feel like it's it's got to be like uh, it it's got to be. I don't know. Like someone who has a disability or something, right? Like it doesn't make any sense. Oh, <laughs> Chat context is lost on an essay YouTuber. It's so weird. There, there are clearly arguments to be made about lazy react content, but this guy so far seems to be salty that there's a react market because parasocial and casual content is popular. Like, I'm not even sure if he means mental or physical. What the fuck are you talking about? What's the disability that makes you go, I need to install a toilet next to my fucking toilet? Now, I'll give it to Hassan. This is a more fully formed... What? Does he think that the homeowner literally chose to build those two toilets next to each other? Thought than anything Jinx said while Tom Scar's video was playing. I also just really want to know what the fuck he meant. But so far, my video has played. Are you serial? Is he serious? It takes two brain cells to recognize that he obviously was trying to say that, like, people who have. people who are neurodivergent or people who are physically disabled in any shape or form, shape, way or form, way, shape or form, um, will find it harder to keep their house maintained and clean. You don't even need to try that hard. And Hazan didn't even get the chance to edit his points. Like, it's just... Uh, the biggest flex you can do is when you have not one, but two fucking side-by-side -side bathrooms, you know what I mean? No, not really. So the house I was roasting actually does have two. So now he's getting mad at Hassan for making commentary? I'm so confused. So Hassan reacted and then he was like, well, you got the reaction wrong. That's not what I said. What the fuck is happening? My guess is that he's just forgotten the word toilet and is saying bathroom instead of toilet. And to be honest, no, I really don't know what he means by this. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a joke as- He's mad because he misspoke? What is happening in this video? This is weird. <laughs> this is weird. This is a weird video. This is really weird. I guess we'll go with, I think he technically has added something small here. I'm just not really sure what it was. He then lets the video play completely uninterrupted. <laughs> He's acting like a Twitch chatter. <laughs> Jay is literally, the YouTuber is acting like a Twitch chatter. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Well, actually, <laughs> well, actually. Well, yeah, he's making the joke that, like, having two toilets is, like, you're flexing. You're like, 
yo i'm so rich i don't even got i don't even i, I got two toilets one for peeing one for pooping you think i'm gonna pee and poop in the same toilet nah you know what i mean you reacted wrong <laughs> you're reacting but not hard enough and incorrectly what is going on in this video what is this what the, what the, what the, no, no, no. Then you better make funny commentary i'm gonna write a two-hour video essay about how i would have given better commentary re no, I'm going to get a video written about me now. And this could be like, Jenna just reads her chat and steals all the comments. Just like a stupid, dumb e-girl. So I was like, maybe I'm, maybe I'm the asshole. You know what I mean? Maybe I should be nicer, you know? But then I was like, people don't even like, honestly, like it feels like in like certain spaces online, nobody even cares when you're generous. So like, why should I bother? You know what I mean? He'd been receiving a few messages in chat telling him that this house used to be a church. And here his contribution to my video is to ask, hey, is that true? He then adds his fourth comment, which is about the fact that the house is full of loads of boxes. Okay, first off, when you ask chat something, you ask them something for a specific reason, okay? It's because nobody wants to watch a fucking streamer go to Google and be like, uh, okay, what house is this? Okay, Zillow. Nobody wants to watch a streamer spend fucking five, ten minutes trying to check the source and the validity of something when they can just ask chat, which he has like a chat of 34,000 people that someone can like link him and be like, yeah, look, here's a source. Do you know what I mean? So like, what the, f it, it's like this, it's like this person who's making this video doesn't understand the basis of like how YouTube content or Twitch content works. In total, Hassan ended up not even spending two minutes talking as he let my 14 minute video play in full. He's very clearly leaning on my video to entertain his audience for him in this situation. This is really just like a cope video. <laughs> He's eating! What's, what's really funny here is like, if this person was a Twitch streamer, if this person was a Twitch react streamer, they would be so much more generous to this position because they would know that like chat gets so mad when you like leave stream to go eat or like you leave stream for more than five, 10 minutes, like chat gets so mad at you and you like lose all of your viewership. Like you're like fucking shooting yourself in the foot. Like if you fuck off for too long and anyone who is a streamer knows this. He's clearly a chatter. I, as soon as I see, obviously, clearly, they're relying on implications rather than evidence. Yeah. Also, chat wants the streamer to lean on content sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, there have been so many times where I'm streaming content. And chat's like, just play the fucking video. You know what I mean? He's just, he's just milking the exposure. Yeah. This person is literally, they're, <laughs> they're going to make a video about me. And they're going to be like, and then they pause in the middle of my video. And then they went on like a tangent about saying poggers. And honestly, I give them an F for react content. I feel like, I feel like he's grading Hassan's reacts. Like he's like, Hassan's reacts get a D minus. <laughs> I just don't know if Hassan freebooting my work even impacted me negatively. And if it did, I don't know how severely. I just don't have access to that kind of information. But what- How would it impact- How would it impact you negatively? The fuck? Huh? If you're on Twitch- See, here's my point. Here's my point about like how like I think YouTube reacts to YouTube content is probably it can be negative. But like if you're already on Twitch, you're not even on YouTube. Do you know what I mean? So you were never going to watch that video. Like the people who are watching Hassan watch videos were, would have never found those videos otherwise. Like there are occasions where there are videos, but I feel like it's those are videos that are like already really popular. Hi, Info Thumbwars. Does he think that like, does he think that like those 40,000 people that are watching Hassan could have been an additional 40,000 viewers for his video? Because that's not how that works at all. The video doesn't link to Hassan's Twitch in the description. Wow. Wow. Doesn't even link to Hassan. Wow. This is such a weird opinion to have. I'm so confused. I think this is genuinely just like a drama farm.
I'm not asking you to get angry on Tom Scar's behalf. I'm not asking you to get angry on my behalf either. I'm doing fine. I am incredibly lucky to be able to work YouTube as my job. I just don't know if Hassan freebooting my work even impacted me negatively. And if it did, I don't know how severely. I just don't have access to that kind of information. But what I do know is that if by doing this Hassan had taken literally every future potential viewer from that video, and as a result it was literally never watched again ever, I would still be doing absolutely fine. I'm not trying to tell you some kind of sob story here about just how hard my life is. I think this is genuinely just like a drama farm. If in a shocking twist of character, Hassan offered to financially compensate me for the video of my- Wow, wow, wow. Oh my copium. Oh my lord, dude. No shot, dude. There it is. No shot, dude. No shot. Hassan. Honestly, Hassan should compensate me. Hassan. If in a shocking twist of character, Hassan offered to financially compensate me for the video of mine he freebooted, I wouldn't take his money. What is that happening? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Hassan owes me money, dude. I know he owes me money. I know he owes me motherfucking money, dude. Okay, guys, let's raise up like a couple hundred dollars to give to Jay in, in response to, you know, me stealing the content because now 400 people are not going to give him views. Mine, he freebooted. I wouldn't take his money. However, when oh, he said it wouldn't take his money. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> I apologize. This is streamer brain. This is streamer brain. There we go. Okay, okay. No, come back, Wormy. No, come back. You're increasing my viewers, Wormy. You can't leave. Otherwise, everyone will leave and they won't come back and watch the stream. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jay. I'm sorry for, for memeing about your sentence. I apologize. I'm sorry. Okay. Is that, is that enough? I'm sorry. Please don't clip me. I guess actually you're allowed to clip me as much as you want. Honestly, if you want to make a bunch of videos and call me a cunt or whatever, I don't really care. You can kind of go crazy. All exposure is good exposure or something. So feel free to make like a hate video about me or whatever, whenever you feel like it. You can be like, look, a stupid streamer, blah, 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 dumb cunt, fucking woman, stupid bitch. Go for it. Go crazy. I once spent six months working all day, every day on one single YouTube video. And if Hassan had freebooted that, I would be very pissed off. I would be even <laughs> Wait, as pissed. opposed to what? What do you, wait, wait, wait. If, th if that would make you very pissed off, what is this? Mildly pissed off? And I would be more pissed off if when a reactor freebooted my content, they hadn't even taken the tiniest piece of minimal effort to just acknowledge the original creator in any way, completely taking the work that they just used to entertain their audience for granted, with no thought given to the fact that it was made by another person. Yes, yeah, so this is what Yes, did. dehumanizing content time, creators. The, video's title, the reality is content creators are not people and they should be treated like garbage. Okay? This person on the screen, yeah. As an empath, when Hassan is hungry, I'm hungry, yeah. Twitch chat or empath sentiments, uh, we care, that's true. Yeah, and that's actually true. Hassan's chair watching an entire small creator's video could make their channel successful. What are they talking about? Yeah, I don't know. Jay, no. How does Jay know Hassan didn't tell the chat what the video was? Well, I'm assuming Jay watched the whole video and that, or the whole VOD and that it didn't happen. Just say that. Just make it like a two. You could just make a two-minute video and say, "TBH is on." I was just upset that you didn't really give me credit. Cause that's a valid. That's a valid discussion. I would be upset if someone watched my content or someone re-uploaded my content essentially and didn't give me any credit at all. You know what I mean? That I think is valid. I think that that's valid to be like to ask your mods to like post links or whatever. And I know people are saying he did or whatever and like blah, blah, blah. What I'm saying is like, I think that that's the only valid point so far that he's made in this entire video. Okay. Let me steal Hassan's content. I steal Hassan's content all the time. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> Whenever I go to the bathroom, I put on a video from Hassan because I know Hassan's not gonna get mad about it. <laughs> Hassan literally doesn't care. Like I'm pretty sure he literally doesn't give a single shit. A socialist can buy whatever they want so long as it's the fruits of their own labor, so long as wealth wasn't achieved by exploiting other people's labor. 
Hang on a second. What? <laughs> I need to message like a, a video essayist that I know and be like, this video essayist is making you guys look bad. Okay, this video essayist does not. <laughs> they're not sending their best. Are they saying Hassan reacting to videos is exploitation? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Wait, is that what they're saying? Wait. <laughs> oh no, I just realized. No. You want to know? How, you want to know how you know this isn't true? Because I'm watching the same content and I don't have forty thousand viewers. Okay. It's because the, the streamer makes the content. Work on something much bigger. My full critique and breakdown of seasons 11 okay, and I'm gonna 12. I'm going to enter into the call. Yeah, I mean, he wants to be in. Um... Wow, good job he did that. This was becoming dangerously close to an interaction that would have benefited both of us instead of just him. Even Jinx knew to shout out the video he was reacting to. This is a crazy amount of just <laughs> taking other people's work for granted. No concern. I'm going to be honest. I do that too. So like, honestly, you can shit on me too. Shouldn't have put the credits first. Yeah, I think when people see the credits, they assume the video's over. This is his attitude when making reaction content, and he could end up doing this to anyone. The point of this video isn't like- <laughs> This could happen to you or a loved one. Okay? This could happen to any of you. All right. He proved he gets a jump when Hassan showed his videos too. Did he? why he has these positions if a part of your work relies on you uploading other people's content then you better make sure that's not all you're doing otherwise you're just re-uploading other people's content it's fine to do that if you have permission but it's not if you don't i'm not trying to tell you some kind of sob story here about just how hard my life is if in a shocking twist of character hassan offered to financially compensate me for the video of mine he freebooted i wouldn't take his money however when this kind of thing is done completely without permission and without knowing enough about the original creator you run the risk of freebooting work from a creator who is struggling so much of the criticism is so spite driven and it just makes me not want to like take the video seriously you know what i mean a petition to get me the recognition also we've been live for like two and a half hours and we've only watched 20 minutes oh thank god there you know i don't know what this this person would never make a video on me you want to know what you want to know why because there's no way anyone is going to watch me for a fucking three hours <laughs> he has said the same point of like i just want you to give me credit like like i think this is like the 10th time he's done it Holy shit! Holy shit! Abandon this video, it's trashed. This is like not good, dude. This is not good. The problem is you have to consider optics. Whenever you make any content at all, ever, you have to make sure your optics look based. Because like currently, the optics on this video, they just straight up look like I'm mad and salty. So even if, even if Jay is not mad and he's not salty at all, even a little bit. It doesn't matter because that's how it's coming off. It's coming off as being like bitter. Also, give me two seconds. I have to go like find something. And so this person does not like shit on me and get really mauled on me. Uh, I'm going to put music instead. Okay. I don't know why people don't steal man. I have so little respect for people who don't steal man other content creators. You know what I mean? This comment isn't saying, well, everybody does it, so it should be good. Because that's a fucking stupid ass argument. That would be like saying, well, everybody murders, so therefore it's fine. The argument is, everybody has to do it. All, all streamers, anyone who streams for enough hours in a day, has to get up, has to take a break, stop staring at their monitors for a little bit, get some water, stretch, go pee, get food. 
That's why all the streamers do it. And instead of steel manning this commentator, like this, this person's argument and being like, okay, I understand what your perspective is, but you have to understand that like, it's not fair to the person who makes the video. Instead, he's, he's just saying like, well, everybody's doing it. So it must be okay. And it's like, you're not even trying to make a decent argument. And it's so fucking frustrating. I don't understand why some of these comments are even in this video. Like one of the comments was like, I understand why he has to do that. It's because he has to go pee and eat and whatever. And he wants to leave chat entertained. But it is still annoying when he does this. It's like, why did you put that on there? That's just like a sane perspective. Don't cook or eat food. You are a content slave and not allowed to leave frame for more than 30 seconds on an 8 to 12 hour stream. 28. What the fuck are you talking about? You muppet. British. Pause the video shows they have no idea of how streaming works. Like they should leave their whiny baby with nothing happening. Yeah. Why are we reading comments and like arguing against comments? Okay, but it's Twitch streamers versus YouTubers going to become the next thing. I mean, I think the Twitch streamers will win. We have more power. You know what I mean? We have to deal with harassment live on stream. Okay. Like we would easily win that. Like it's not even close. Co YouTubers just get to like filter out. They don't even have to read their comment section. Okay. Simple as. When you're more mad about your YouTube video getting watched by a streamer than Gordon Ramsay having his multi-million dollar show watched on stream. <laughs> uh, you know how many easy, dumb tweets I can find? Like, I think laughing at a dumb tweet is funny. You know, there's plenty of dumb tweets. I think laughing at them is pretty funny. Like, clicking on a dumb tweet and being like, look how fucking stupid this is. Making an hour-long video and having, like, what, like a five-minute segment dedicated, or maybe, like, a three-minute segment dedicated to, like, dumb comments. It's silly. Here are a few things you can try. Bring on a guest who can do most of the talking while you're away. This highway code applies to England, Scotland, and Wales. The highway code is essential reading for everyone. Play something made by a creator who you know is happy for their content to be used in this way. Play your own streams or content. Just fucking end the stream, holy shit. And if all of these things and any other alternative all seem like they're too much effort, then sucks to be you. Take some pride in your work, holy shit. You don't get to just take something someone else made. What does take pride in your work mean? I don't know. My homie really said, just end stream. <laughs> hey guys, I want to go pee, so I'm going to see you guys later, okay? Just turn off your stream when you go to pee and poop, then come and restart it when you want to go back. Get a co-host or end your stream. Very simple, easy solutions. What I'm curious about is, what if someone... You watch someone's content... What if he had watched, so Jay had watched someone's content and they said, I didn't like the way that you reacted about this. Then what? That's totally fine. He makes the most sense. Well, that's nice to see, isn't it? I mean, I understand. Sweet, dude. My man said react harder. Oh. So I have like 30 minutes of Hassan's response to work with in my editing room. That's what you said! That's literally what you said. You literally said, I don't like the way that you reacted to my content. And he said, okay, you don't like the way that I, re you react I reacted to your content. That's fine. I won't watch your content anymore. He literally did say react harder. Okay, this is so cringe. This is literally so cringe, dude. If this YouTuber thinks that they can explain react content to a Twitch streamer who their primary source of income is Twitch streaming react stuff, and they think that they can explain to a Twitch streamer this, I'm going to I'm going to woman splain, I'm going to Twitch splain uh content. Okay? I'm going to Twitch explain YouTube content, okay? You want to know why this video is bad? Here, you clearly don't understand why this video is bad, which is why you uploaded it, okay? I'm going to essay explain to you right now. This video is bad because you're taking the criticisms of morons who spend five minutes of their life typing a hate comment to you. Cry more? What a baby. What a baby. Doing all this other weird shit just makes you seem petty. It just makes you seem fucking petty. Situation. This is really just like a cope video. Literally wouldn't even know who you are if it wasn't for Hassan streaming your video. Okay, dude. Also, who Omega lol? Like, uh, seriously? I'm not the biggest Hassan fan, but I feel a lot of streamers just watch random videos to react to while they eat, so I don't feel like it's that bad that he does this. I watch Hassan pretty frequently, and I honestly think it's because he was eating, Lamau. Content quality usually takes a nosedive for that half an hour. He's usually good about crediting channels and sharing his thoughts throughout. A lot of the time he's leaving or eating because he literally streams for 10 plus hours a day and he's got to do it sometime. And the chat needs to be entertained in the meantime. But I do agree it's annoying when he does this. Anyone who streams for enough hours in a day has to get up, has to take a break, stop staring at their monitors for a little bit, get some water, stretch, go pee, get food, 
That's why all the streamers do it. Lol, these comments. Why don't you guys start a Twitch and react your way? This whole leaving, eating, etc. is just a constant stream meme combined with actually satisfying certain human needs, like peeing and eating. Also, he streams like 8 hours a day. You can't expect him to clown around energetically for every minute of those 8 hours. Literally for 5 minutes, not never longer than fucking 5 minutes to go get to go get food because I'm fucking hungry. And I will lose like a quarter of my audience. Just tell him not to react to your videos. Other streamers like Matt Orchard and JCS are saying that they love the boost in views they're getting from Hassan's reacts. It's not clear that Jay would be opposed to it. If he didn't say enough in this video, then fair enough. Not everyone does their best all the time. You literally said, I don't like the way that you reacted to my content. And he said, okay, you don't like the way that I, re you react I reacted to your content. That's fine. I won't watch your content anymore. How about just telling him not to do that instead of pulling this cringe shit? It was so cringe. Okay, this is so cringe. This is literally so cringe, dude. You're not allowed to watch any YouTube videos unless you react the exact way the creator wants you to. The rules of the internet. So Hassan reacted and then he was like, well, you got the reaction wrong. That's not what I said. What the fuck is happening? And honestly, I give them an F for react content. I feel like I feel like he's grading Hassan's reacts. Like he's like, Hassan's reacts get a D minus. Jay's entire channel revolves around him making content that only reacts to other people's content or analyzes it. There's no difference between what Jay is doing here and what he's complaining about Hassan doing. Jay's pathetically drama baiting over something that in essence would require him to delete 90% of his channel's videos if he was serious about not using other people's content. What if he had watched, so Jay had watched someone's content and they said, I didn't like the way that you reacted about this. Then what? LOL, just react harder? Hey Jay! React harder. My man said react harder. You literally said, I don't like the way that you reacted to my content. And he said, okay, you don't like the way that I, you react, I reacted to your content. That's fine. I won't watch your content anymore. He literally did say react harder. This video is bad because you're taking the criticisms of morons who spend five minutes of their life typing a hate comment to you. Okay? You never should take those people fucking seriously. What does take pride in your work mean? I don't know. The fact that you are including a bunch of fucking random comments and being like, whoa, look at how dumb this person is. Oh my god, and look at how dumb my haters are. If you're gonna criticize someone for reacting, then I will criticize your use of footage that isn't technically yours. So yeah, a lot of the content on my channel is reviews of movies or shows, and I use footage of those movies and shows to show what I'm talking about. Although I don't really feel that I need to explain the kind of thing that I do, because you've been watching it for 30 minutes. And it's distinctly different from just letting someone else's content play as you cook, eat, and occasionally make vague or vacuous comments. Whoa, look at how dumb this person is. Oh my god, and look at how dumb my haters are. What you were supposed to do was, okay, I want to address like some criticisms that I've seen a lot of. So without further ado, I'll sit down, pour myself a nice refreshing glass of beans, and go over some of the arguments that are made in favor of this kind of reaction. The first criticism that I get a lot is react harder. Lol, just react harder? Hey Jay, react harder. My man said react harder. And it has more to do with the fact that I think that walking away from the computer is bad instead of just react harder. Summing up the criticism as react harder does make it sound unreasonable because saying react harder would be unreasonable. But summing it up as contribute something would be a lot more accurate. My man said contribute something, man. Make your reaction stream a meaningfully different experience to watching the original video. It's not just a matter of react harder. Instead of like posting a bunch of like random YouTube comments, straw manning the arguments, and then trying to like look smart because of it. It's fucking stupid. You're like bad faithing like hardcore. React harder. My man said react harder. He literally did say react harder. What does take pride in your work mean? I don't know. And it was evident the moment that like Hassan said that like it's possible this person has a disability and instead of saying like, oh, like this could be true, you make fun of him for it or something? Like, which is very strange and also like low-key kind of ableist of you. I feel like it's it's gotta be like, uh, it, it's gotta be, I don't know. Like someone who has a disability or something, right? Like it doesn't make any sense. Boy. Um, I'm not sure what part of this messy, weird house has made Hassan conclude, hmm, yes, only a disabled could have caused this. Like, which is very strange, and also, like, low-key kind of ableist of you. 
And then people would have taken this so seriously because people like people who are good faith and genuinely feel a certain way. What the fuck do you mean? I I'm literally going to do exactly what I've been doing, which is whatever the fuck I want to do, bitch. What, what are you talking about? You couldn't really ask for a more explicit declaration that he's not going to change the way he does things. I You can't listen to chat. Chat doesn't even know what the fuck they want, okay? I don't mean to be mean to chat. Chat does not know what they want. What he's not apologized for is what he's doing, which is the actual thing that I took issue with in the first place, and is something that he spends most of his stream arguing in favor of. A lot of the arguments- Dude, the holy arguments fuck. If the video was actually just this last two minutes, it would have been so good. Because this is a genuinely good criticism, which is I'm not, I'm not asking you to apologize to me. I'm asking you to apologize to the people that like you do this to and that you shouldn't do this to them anymore. You shouldn't just assume someone is okay with their content being used as filler. If a part of your work relies on you uploading other people's content, then you better make sure that's not all you're doing, otherwise you're just re-uploading other people's content. Unless you have explicit permission to use something as filler content. It's fine to do that if you have permission, but it's not if you don't. You know, like if he had said that, I would be like, oh wow, that's actually a good video. But instead he spent fucking 30, 40 minutes talking about a bunch of nonsense, looping over and over again, instead of like this really good criticism. And it's like, I would not watch this video if I wasn't trying to actively look for it and actively watch and actively try and find the message of this video. I wouldn't have even fucking seen this perspective. These motherfuckers are like, dude, peanut bottle, dude. Just feel like I wanted to not be streaming anymore, but didn't want to lose those uh, stream dollars. Like outside of the camera being on him, how is it any different than him just watching YouTube all stream? It just rubs me the wrong way. Like, how do you think of your viewers to just stream your break? Dude, what am I supposed to do? Die? Like, I don't understand. Hassan reacts to someone's suggestion that he to die. Well, listen, this is silly. Hassan is just not good at making arguments because he's not a debate bro. Hassan, the only statement that he should have said there is, I lose viewers when I leave and I don't put anything to play. So I'm incentivized to put something to play when I leave. Chat doesn't even know what the fuck they want, okay? I don't mean to be mean to chat. Chat does not know what they want. Most other uh, content creators on YouTube and all around don't give a shit if you watch their videos or they like it. They literally like it. They want you to watch their videos. Please record your answer and send it to me. Would you be okay with it if a streamer played one of your videos in full on their stream without saying much or really adding anything? No. Fuck no. Uh, no, I would not. Yes. No. Well, I mean, I could kind of do with it. Are they, are they willing to pay? No, I don't think I would be okay with a streamer playing one of my videos in its entirety without even really adding to it. If they give me a shout out and try to send people my way, then sure. But otherwise... We're really doing anecdotes. Most other uh, content creators on YouTube and all around don't give a shit if you watch their videos or they like it. They literally like it. They want you to watch their videos. That's what we're doing now. You're going to ask your friends questions and... Okay, dude. Also, who Omega will like? Uh, seriously? And this whole repetitive cycle of drama on YouTube would grind to a halt and I'd have to fill the rest of my days with anything else, like work. Probably yes, if they were to credit me. <laughs> that that person is based. It was like a biased question or whatever. Um, randomly selected from people I have open DMs with. Yeah, I'm, I'm, and also it's kind of silly because it's like obviously you're going to like... Your friends are probably going to have similar opinions to you, for starters, okay? Second of all, um, uh, what is it called? Uh, the anecdote seems valid in this case in different types of channels, so what would you prefer? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it was a leading question. The question should have been, where, in what circumstances would you be okay with a streamer watching your content? That would have been a non-leading question. That you would have actually had people be able to answer completely in, in their entirety. Which is a oh, show. dude, a I watched Smiling Friends the first episode. I really didn't like it. Look, Pim, I know it's our job to help this guy and everything, but I think this guy's a lost cause. He's obviously made up his mind. Why don't we just cut our losses and get out of here? Wow. Wow. God damn, that was, that took forever. Oh my God. I low-key want to make a video on this and be like, your major problem with this is you spend fucking 30 minutes like jerking off about like something completely unrelated to like the actual substance of the video. And then at the very end, you finally get to the good stuff. Actually, let's do a poll right now, chat. Let's do a poll. Would you have watched this video if I hadn't streamed it? Obviously, I primed you guys and stuff. So like there is that one problem. They're going to Twitch because they want a curator. They don't want to watch videos. They want to watch someone curate videos for them. So they probably don't even get most of their content off of YouTube, right? I imagine most of the people who love watching Hassan and watch Hassan for multiple hours a day don't, when they end, when Hassan ends stream or Hassan hasn't started stream yet, they don't go to YouTube and try and pick out videos that they think Hassan might watch. They just go watch other Twitch streamers who do the same thing. Personally, I'm still a huge YouTube watcher. You can see it's in my title. I'm going to talk to the person who made that Hassan rant video. The reaction content video. And I'm going to talk to him and I'm going to be like, 
I want to talk. I want to chat. I want to do the thing. And I think uh, Chad's going to like host it or something. Oh, this is a new one. That's true. I really got to make sure I'm giving a lot of commentary because Jay could be watching right now. Okay? Right now. I know such a such a such a Chad move to talk about Jay on a react content day I know no look I'm adding I'm adding quality and content um because I'm playing with wormy <laughs> Jay literally <laughs> made you. <laughs> Didn't they already do the challenge where they feed a bunch of people? Oh, bye, be weird. Didn't they already do the challenge where they feed a bunch of people? Oh! Will different chefs be judging different foods or something? Oh yeah, it's table side. I'm so Pepeggy. What? Judges love me. It was amazing. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Why would you be like? I have hives everywhere, and I was so itchy. <laughs> okay. Oh, she got some laughs, dude. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I think I'm rooting the most for Ryan right now. I think I'm rooting the most for Ryan right now. Oh, <laughs> what? Fifteen seconds. She actually gave him shots. They were like, "Yeah, I can go for some shots." <laughs> Where's chat's shots, Denims? You're not gonna give any offer any shots to chat, huh? Huh? Also, the way they they drank that tequila like it was water, bro. That shit tequila is like just thinking about it like activates my gag reflex, dude. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Are straight women okay? That guy just looks like an average dude. <laughs> that was just an average looking dude. <laughs> She's simping so hard, dude. No, no, bro, no, no. Why was that guy like talking as if he was posting on Twitter? This oh my keyboard is off. Let me see. This guy? This guy who's like super mad. This guy? Why was he no, he looks mad about it, dude. He looks mad. He's like 
like damn bro he's he's like the, he's got so much chatter energy he has like the twitter energy where it's like that's a whole new sentence or whatever or whatever where it's like oh twitter's the only place where you can say i like pancakes and you'll get people saying like oh so you hate waffles like he unironically did that he, she was like oh I, I wanted to do something with, with some finesse and he's like you think beef doesn't have finesse it's like what i mean no that's not what i okay <laughs> that's not what i that's not what i meant but okay <laughs> Okay, I have to pee though, so I'll be right back, okay, chat? All right. Let's finish the video. At the same time, <gasps> you weren't. Oh, I don't know how Hassan does it where he watches the videos on his phone when he's gone. I do not do that shit, bro. I'm gonna be honest, I do not do that shit. That is smart, though. That is smart. I should start pretending like I do that or actually start doing it, dude. What seemed to be- Oh, Denim, next time, can you please just end the stream? Can you please just end the stream? Their most powerful moment? It looks like we're gonna have quite a friendly conversation, which is a bit of a change of pace for this channel, so that's good. Um, so this is the first time I'd seen someone leave during a react stream, and that was crazy to me, having seen, like, you know, having never seen that before, I was like, what the fuck, yeah. dude? Yeah. No, I completely understand, and I'm very sympathetic to your position and stuff. Like, I understand why you had the position that you did. He doesn't give a shit about even pretending that he's contributing anything here. But even when he's in the room, he's no stranger to just streaming other people's content with his own face in the corner. Now, any content creator he does this to could be entirely okay with it, but I know from personal experience that he definitely doesn't bother to check. Now, this certainly isn't the only thing he does. Hell, it's not even the only kind of reaction content that he does, but it is something that he does pretty often, so... Let's talk about it. It's also very much I'm, not just him who does- This is coming off really salty. I'm waiting for him to finish his point before I go any further. Because I have so many opinions and I'm trying to hold them so, so he can finish his point. Because I am mulch and coping and mulch and cope and mulch. No, I completely understand. And I'm very sympathetic to your position and stuff. Like, I understand why you had the position that you did. I think we, we agree on the positions. Because, like, I, I think- you were talking about the... Um... I was not expecting that. Yeah, I honestly, I thought maybe there would be more pushback. <laughs> Even the video, like, by the time I finished the video, I was like, huh, like, I should really be more careful and, like, I should try not to watch content uh, on my stream as filler content. You know what I mean? So I think I'm, that I'm, it was... I'm glad to hear him. Wow. Wow. God damn, that was... That took forever. Oh, my God. Did you enjoy that video? <laughs> Denims, don't skip the, the credits! Denims, you're skipping the credits! Wow! Wow, you're literally skipping the credits. Well, now that I don't have to watch that video on their YouTube channel, way to steal their views. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I stole 400 views from them. Now, instead of having 50,000 views, they're only going to have 49,000. I'm a fucking monster. Denim, put their channel name on screen. Denim, put their channel name on screen. Put it on screen. Put it. Show the channel name, Denims. Dude, I low-key want to make a video on this. Even the video, like, by the time I finished the video, I was like, huh, like, I should really be more careful and, like, I should try not to watch content uh, on my stream as filler content. You know what I mean? So I think I'm, that I'm, it was... I'm glad to hear him. One argument that Hassan makes, and I don't want you to answer for Hassan's points, but it's just interesting just to, you know, generate a bit of chat about it overly, but, like, this idea that someone streams for a long time in a day, therefore they're justified in using filler content. Like, what what... What are our thoughts on that sort of point? That's stupid. It's dumb. Streamers are not incentivized to pause the videos while they're gone. Because when you fucking leave your computer, you can see any big streamer talk about this. Amaranth has talked about this. Hassan has talked about this. I can tell you from personal experience, this is true. When you pause the video, literally you can, I have had times where I pause the video or like I unpause it or whatever. I, and I go literally for five minutes, not never longer than fucking five minutes to go get to go get food because I'm fucking hungry and I will lose like a quarter of my audience 
you know and like maybe for like hassan hassan is like a big enough streamer that it doesn't really matter and he can just pause the video and that's fine but like this is still like people's like income or whatever like this is still people's like jobs or whatever it's like the equivalent of like you know like like ad block for youtubers you know what i mean what are our thoughts on that sort of point it's stupid it's dumb this is still like people's like income or whatever like this is still people's like jobs or whatever it's like the equivalent of like you know like like ad block for youtubers you know what i mean so i've taken like polls in my community and like the majority of people say that they literally wouldn't watch hell's kitchen unless i was streaming it and it doesn't necessarily mean that i'm reacting hard enough you know i'm sure if you click on a random part in the video i might not be saying anything sure whatever <laughs> it's the same reason you watch shows with your friends you want to watch it with other people right and actually this is i think maybe my only disagreement that you had jay so maybe we'll get a little bit of blood sports i don't think people would watch i don't think you're missing viewership because a streamer streams it especially when it's like i've i tried to do some polling to the best of my ability obviously because i only have like whatever small audience and i only have so many people that can i can poll so sample size is a little fucked but i think when it comes to streamers on twitch a lot of people go to watch streamers on twitch for their react content almost as a curator so they don't actually want to go through youtube themselves and watch a bunch of videos and they probably never will go through youtube and click a bunch of videos um they like going to twitch because they like to have it as like this streamer is curating fun content that I want to so, watch. So like the YouTube algorithm, right? You know what that like the, the whole point of it is that it puts like YouTube videos on your homepage that you're going to enjoy. Mm -hmm. So what is the, what's the difference there? What's that? What is that Twitch streamer providing that the audience member couldn't get for themselves by literally just going to YouTube so and I clicking the videos that appeal to them? So I agree with this opinion. I thought you're, it was actually really funny because you were about to say like, you were about to give the video games example and explain why and i'd already said it on my stream because when a streamer is playing a video game you still have the ability to play the game yourself and video games are not necessarily always linear and there's lots of stuff that you can do yourself and then there's also the aspect right. of like skill and so video games i think are great or whatever but i think the more important part or whatever was the like sh you can't there's no point of watching something a second time you already watched it maybe like if you're watching it with some other people or something or it's been a long time you might re-watch the video but once you watch the video one place it's pretty unlikely that you're going to go back and watch it again so yeah. i understand this perspective i so, think and that like the, and this is just the, my the, opinion i think that like people who are watching content on twitch curated twitch content on twitch aren't necessarily people that would be watching content on youtube i almost think if hassan streamed on youtube i would agree with you it's possible that hassan watching my content hurt me and it's possible that like i've missed out on this or whatever um i just i just disagree i think i don't i don't think that you are i i don't think that and maybe maybe i'm this is my opinion because i'm a react streamer or whatever but I, i'm not sure i i can only go based on the polls that i took it doesn't feel like people who watch content on twitch necessarily would watch that content on youtube personally i'm still a huge youtube watcher i just don't i i disagree with your opinion on this but i don't what part what part of that what part of that do you disagree with i feel like i just went through it all like step by step well what part do you think that i am missing that is valid it's not welcome I'm because i mean i just went through like I, I lined out the argument from like a to b to c to d and and then all you said was just like you, your opinion is the the opposite I, I just i don't if there's overlap and they catch it on the streamer's uh channel first before they catch the actual youtube video then they're probably not going to watch the youtube video right Sure, the, the, I, but I already agreed with this. I just don't know if Hassan freebooting my work even impacted me negatively. And if it did, I don't know how severely. I just don't have access to that kind of information. But what- How would it impact- How would it impact you negatively? The fuck? Sure, the, the, I, I, but I already agreed with this. Huh? If you're on Twitch, 
see here's my point here's my point about like how like i think youtube reacts to youtube content is probably it can be negative but like if you're already on twitch you're not even on youtube do you know what i mean so you were never gonna watch that video like the people who are watching hassan watch videos were would have never found those videos otherwise sure the, the, I, but i already agreed with this okay then i'm confused because I, I i i it sounded to me like you you were saying the opposite a lot of the time the reason that they go and re watch react streamers is because they don't want to have to do the effort of going and scrolling through youtube and clicking on recommended they want a streamer who effort. yeah like i mean you have you ever scrolled through youtube for a while and not found a single video that you wanted to watch not really yeah. um okay. yeah yeah okay well um listen thank you both for coming on um don't worry about this fact it's not blood Come sports on. i'm sure abandoned this video it's trashed this is like not good dude this is not good um and so yeah that's that's my opinion i don't i don't think it was a very uh controversial opinion people had a good time anyway okay and um i'll uh i'm gonna gonna bounce i'll catch you all later okay all right bye all right bye bye thanks bye bye i think he seemed to get a little bit lost in the sauce on my statement about curating because the reason I know this information is because for a while, I literally didn't understand why people watched me. Like, I literally didn't understand it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm very hard on myself and very hard on my content. So I literally didn't understand why people watched. What does take pride in your work mean? I don't know. But anyways, yeah. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm probably going to make a video about this. It's like way more compact because I actually have a lot of opinions about it. And I feel a lot more like, cool about making the video knowing that he agrees with me on so many of the opinions also i i was trying to like make a distinction between reasons people do things and whether or not they're moral i don't think it's moral that a streamer is stealing views and doing nothing but i think that people do that because or sorry 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 i don't think it actually adds any value for a streamer to be a curator of sorts however it doesn't change the fact that people watch streams because their favorite streamer is a curator you can't listen to chat. Chat doesn't even know what the fuck they want, okay? I don't mean to be mean to chat. Chat does not know what they want, okay? So yeah, like there's plenty of times. I don't know why everyone was feigning ignorance as if like the algorithm always pushes you really good content that you'll always love. It's like, yeah, like, I mean, you have you ever scrolled through YouTube for a while and not found a single video that you wanted to watch? Not really? Really? I do want to say that while I didn't like the video, I don't want any harassment any towards Jay shit, at all. So please be cool. Don't do that. Thank you. Okay, cool. So why did I hate the majority of this video? Two primary reasons. A, the content looked incredibly spite driven with terrible optics. B, the content was repetitive, long, boring, and took way too long to get to the point. Section A, why Jay's video seems spiteful even if it wasn't. Up until the final section of the video, the majority of it is just Jay talking about how much he absolutely disliked Hassan using his content as filler content. Filler content in this context, meaning content that's being used for when a streamer is eating or is going to be walking away from the stream and not, not gonna be there. Jay talks about these frustrations in the most deranged manner, in my humble opinion. Exhibit A. I feel like it's it's got to be like, uh, I don't know, like someone who has a disability or something, right? Um, I'm not sure what part of this messy, weird house has made Hassan conclude, hmm, yes, only a disabled could have caused this. That's what he sounds like, shut up. Or what kind of disability he could possibly mean? Like, I'm not even sure if he means mental or physical. What the fuck are you talking about? What's the disability that makes you go, I need to install a toilet next to my fucking- So the frustrating part for me here is that Jay doesn't even try to give an ounce of charitability. Apparently, Hassan had come back to stream and seen chat making assumptions about the homeowner because the house was so messy, to which he proceeded to say, it's possible that the homeowner could be disabled. I don't have a chair planted in front of my laundry machine just so I can watch it run, but each to their own, eh? 
I feel like it's it's got to be like uh it it's got to be I don't know like someone who has a disability or something, right? Like it doesn't make any sense. Oh, wait. And I don't really think it's a controversial opinion at all to think that someone who's physically disabled wouldn't have the same abilities to keep their house clean. And I also don't think it's too controversial to say that someone with ADHD or depression wouldn't have the same motivations to clean their house as someone who would be neurotypical. But instead of extending the logic that even a shimbo like me could think of, Jay instead just assumes that Hassan is being ableist for saying that the homeowner might be disabled. And it was evident the moment that like Hassan said that like it's possible this person has a disability and instead of saying like, oh, like this could be true, you make fun of him for it or something? Like, which is very strange and also like low-key kind of ableist of you. But this isn't the only time Jay does this. This happens a few times in the videos. Jay apparently decided to do a stream sort of mocking or satirizing Hassan's reaction to his video. Previewed here, exhibit B. Similar to Jack's films, I went live to satirize him. Of 8,800 Blue Lick Road. If we start at the entrance, you're greeted by a Minions brand doormat that really no home is complete without. Sure, but I think we might have found the toilet soda culprit. Now, if we go across the hall from the man cave, we'll find ourselves in the second bathroom of the property. Now that you- Now, because I've watched the entire video, I know that Jay actually has valid points and wants something that's actually actionable. However, the first time I watched this, all I could think was, holy fuck, this is so incredibly cringe. This video is bad because you're taking the criticisms of morons who spend five minutes of their life typing a hate comment to you. How about just telling him not to do that instead of pulling this cringe shit? Incredibly cringe. Morons. I have been known to dabble in some Hassan YouTube content, and this fucker pauses so much. He will spend two hours on a 10 minute video. The point I'm trying to make is that it feels like Jay was just frustrated that their video didn't elicit an excited and fun response out of Hassan. And that's why he made the video. Even though Jay states that they made the video for entirely different reasons. The other big part of this video that feels incredibly spite driven, lacking charitability, and super low effort is what I would like to call the reading YouTube comments section. <laughs> So let's talk about that. First point, I truly do not understand why Jay has decided to take any YouTube commentators seriously. Listen, okay? My personal opinion. I literally do not care about YouTube hate comments. If you are someone who is spending more than two seconds writing a YouTube comment about why you dislike someone or something so much, I do not value or respect your opinion. Every single Sigma I know does not spend their time writing hate comments on YouTube videos. They simply move on with their life and do things that they enjoy. And if I may add one more quick point of contention, this is unironically what most people dislike so much about Hassan. He will get stunlocked on shitters in chat for absolutely no reason. And it is so agonizing. Do you want to know why it's agonizing? Because those people aren't worth the time. They are never worth it. Now to my next point, steel manning. It absolutely boggles my mind that Jay decided to react to YouTube comments and not even attempt to try and steel man any of them. Exhibit A. I'm not the biggest Hassan fan, but I feel a lot of streamers just watch random videos to react to while they eat, so I don't feel like it's that bad that he does this. Everyone's doing it, so it's okay. Um, I, I think it's bad that everyone's doing this, but also this is literally just an appeal to popularity fallacy. Um, next. Instead of making an actual attempt to try and engage with this comment, they instead just make fun of it in the worst way possible. 
any person who attempted for even a moment would realize that this person is probably saying, a lot of streamers have downtime where they need to eat or use the restroom to play videos to retain viewers. I think calling out Hassan specifically instead of going after all React content on some level seems to come off as spite driven. Instead, Jay takes this straw man <laughs> for no reason. And so to circle back to point A, why are you spending any time at all on YouTube comments if you're not even gonna try and glean something of value from them? And finally, for this section, I would like to show you guys Jay's alternatives to using filler content that somebody else made. There are plenty of other ways to take downtime, which isn't something I should have to explain to anyone. If you're a streamer and you reach a point in your stream where you feel that for whatever reason you're unable to fully entertain your audience by yourself, here are a few things you can try. Bring on a guest who can do most of the talking while you're away. This highway code applies to England, Scotland and Wales. The highway code is essential reading for everyone. Play something made by a creator who you know is happy for their content to be used in this way. Play your own streams or content. Just fucking end the stream, holy shit. Now listen, I actually respect the first two statements. If you know you're gonna be away from the stream for more than a few minutes, you probably could bring on a guest or you could get pre-planned, pre-approved filler content. However, I don't know why Jay attacks on the point about ending stream, as if any streamer would ever do that, ever. And this is what I mean when I say it's completely reasonable that people who watch this viewed it as a clout sharking, bitter, spiteful video. Telling streamers to end their stream when they need downtime and then saying, take some pride in your work, holy shit, is not the most conducive method in convincing streamers, or anyone for that matter, that using filler content without prior permission is wrong. So for some reason, Jay decides to include a 10 minute section where he just watches Hassan's reaction to his video and critiques how he didn't like it. And I don't know why he does this, besides the fact that he wanted to do it. I think very easily if he was trying to prove a point that Hassan didn't react hard enough or that he was using it as filler content, all he had to do was show a clip of Hassan walking off the stream for four minutes and then coming back and saying very little. He doesn't have the whole video inside of it. He doesn't have the whole fucking video. Uh, here it is. Okay, is this it? It's XQC's old house? No, I've fucking seen XQC's 8,800. Oh, here we go. Thank you, chatter. I am here for investigative purposes, okay? I'm a journalist. I'm a political journalist, all right? I'm here for investigative purposes, all right? I need to make sure that the content stays untainted. So don't tell me to react harder, you fucking quacks. Instead, he does this. And now, because Hassan is our primary example, let's take a look at the reaction he served up to some of my content. And while we're doing it, let's see how he compares to Jinx. 8800 Blue Lick Road is a three bedroom house that you can go on a 3D virtual tour of right now if you're interested in purchasing it. And I think that there's two main problems with this. A, it detracts from the video a lot. It makes the video about his personal grievances with Hassan uh, instead of a video about the general state of React content on Twitch. And the second problem is just, I think it's unnecessary. It adds absolutely nothing to the video. It's very boring. I didn't want to watch it and I was forced to watch it. And it just ends up coming off as an unintentionally petty. In total, Hassan ended up not even spending two minutes talking as he let my 14 minute video play in full. He's very clearly leaning on my video to entertain his audience for him in this situation. This is the downtime he has no choice but to take because of his choice to stream for 13 hours a day. Jinx definitely did worse in the matter of actually adding something to the content, but neither of them have done well at all. Jinx, at the very least, did shout out the original video and put a link to it in his description. It's even right at the top of his description, so you don't have to click show more to see it. Good stuff. Link to the original video is in the description if you just want to see some random It adds absolutely nothing to the video. It's very boring. I didn't want to watch it and I was forced to watch it and it just ends up coming off as an unintentionally petty. Now there is some genuinely good stuff in this video, like really good stuff in this video, but you have to get to the very end of it, which I did for you guys. Like the bare minimum that a streamer could do is to show 
the content creator and the video title on screen and post the link in chat after watching it. It really just isn't that much of a hassle to give credit where credit is due, especially when you're using it as entertainment for your stream. All right, cool, yay. That was a really nice short little section, great. Now, moving on to the depressing category. Category two, filler content. Okay, so one of the more interesting distinctions made in this video is about the difference between traditional React content and filler content. Traditional React content, AKA content that's transformative or adds something to the video because of the reactions versus filler content, AKA content that streamers use when they need to take a break to use the bathroom or get food. Now, why do I think that this is a worthwhile distinction? Because the complaint of this video is not simply react harder as so many people have made it out to be. He literally did say react harder. The complaint is more so react at all. And I think it's incredibly fair for a content creator to not want their content to be used as filler content. And I think it gets to the heart of the problem. This is something that all streamers or at least all big streamers do. Eventually, if you're gonna be streaming for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 hours, you're going to need downtime. For most React streamers, that downtime means a drop in viewership. Streamers are disincentivized from leaving the stream for more than a few seconds without putting something on to entertain chat. Does that mean it's okay to use filler content without people's permission? No, that's not what I'm saying, no. What I am saying is, I think it's fucked up that streamers essentially steal content and use it as background noise when they either can't or don't want to entertain chat. However, I also recognize it's probably never going to stop happening until Twitch cracks down on it. I mean, literally a month ago, streamers were playing anime in their entirety until someone got banned. So I guess my final point on this section is, I just think that if Jay's video was structured a bit better and maybe some of these positives were put in the front of the video, people might've been more convinced that there is a real problem and that the video isn't just a complaint about React harder. But instead, because of the way that it is structured, that's exactly what happened. Now, when I cover other people's work like this, there are a few kinds of etiquette that I feel it's important to stick to. Basically, don't take the piss. In a reaction video, the reactor should still be adding stuff and creating content of their own. Otherwise, what's the point of watching their reaction over the original video? The content that the reactor creates should be at least different enough from the original work that they have created something of their own. I just think that if Jay's video was structured a bit better and maybe some of these positives were put in the front of the video, people might've been more convinced that there is a real problem and that the video isn't just a complaint about React harder. I think Jay makes this crucial mistake of trying to compare Jinx, a React YouTuber, to Hassan, a React streamer. For those who haven't watched Jay's video, there's like 10 minutes dedicated to explaining the React meta on YouTube many years ago. And he uses the example of Jinx and compares it to the modern Twitch streamers that react to content today, like Hassan. And I think it's a fundamentally flawed analogy. I would like to try to argue that people who watch React content on Twitch are separate from the group of people that watch React content on YouTube. I'm arguing this based on two very important factors. Factor number one, Twitch chat versus YouTube comments. So the first point, I know for a fact that my viewing pleasure of a stream is greatly increased by the quality and humor of a live chat that I can read and participate in. You can't listen to chat. Chat doesn't even know what the fuck they want. And while yes, there are some really funny streamers on Twitch, I'd argue some of these chats might be equally as funny, if not funnier than the streamer most of the time. And I think other viewers would agree that having a live chat completely changes the viewing experience, usually for the better. There just simply isn't anything like this in a YouTube React video. I guess you kind of have the comment sections, but to be honest, I've only ever checked the comment sections if I really disliked a video. And a live chat on the other hand actually adds some real value to a React stream. Whereas I'd argue that a YouTube comment section 99.99% of the time 
adds absolutely nothing to the original YouTube React video. And again, I want to be clear. I am in no way saying that chat alone can make the content transformative. I am only saying that chat can help push people to choosing to watch content on Twitch rather than watching the content by themselves on YouTube. So moving on to point number two, React streamers acting as curators. Sort of. Essentially, I want to argue that viewers are actively choosing to watch content on Twitch instead of YouTube for a variety of reasons. I for one know that the YouTube algorithm has a terrible habit of not showing you stuff outside of your usual viewing habits. I can't count the number of times that content creators I've found through Twitch I would have never found through YouTube because it's so drastically different from the content that I habitually consume on YouTube. Or how about when you're scrolling through your YouTube homepage and literally nothing looks interesting? or you're feeling too lazy to keep looking for something that does look interesting, or when you just want like a 10 minute video so you can have something while you're eating, but instead YouTube is literally only recommending you three hour videos about why Rebecca Sugar is a fascist. Do you know what solves all of those problems for viewers? A good Twitch stream. And I wanna be clear, I'm not saying that this adds value to the content at all. I am only arguing that these are reasons why people actively choose to go to Twitch over YouTube. And I wanna illustrate that by pointing out something very important. Viewers are incredibly lazy. And yes, that means you, whichever stream has a chat that is currently watching this, yes, you, no one is free from sin. Companies will literally dump thousands of dollars, if not millions of dollars, to make their platforms as user-friendly as possible. For example, if someone needs to be redirected three different times just to subscribe to a streamer, the chance of them subscribing drops drastically. If you want someone to do something, unfortunately, the reality is the more steps you force them to take, the less likely they are to do it. So. What the fuck does this have to do with Twitch versus the YouTube argument that I'm trying to make? If someone primarily watches content on YouTube, there are less steps for them to take to watch your specific content on YouTube. They've already overcome the first hurdle, which is making their way to youtube.com. Whereas someone who watches content primarily on Twitch is way less likely to have gone to YouTube and looked for your content to watch. Let's say in a hypothetical where a streamer uploads their reaction to let's say a prank video and their reaction adds a total of 30 seconds to the runtime. Now a random YouTube user looks up epic prank video and what do they see? They see two videos. The first is XQC reacts to epic prank. And the second is the original video epic prank. The unfortunate reality is that if the viewer likes XQC even a little bit, they're always going to click on the reaction video and probably rarely going to click on the original video. And that to me feels like really true stolen viewership. In the example I'm highlighting, this user has already overcome two major hurdles in finding your content. They're already on the website you create content, YouTube, and they're already looking up content that you make. Whereas I'd argue that the people watching React content on Twitch might not actually be your target audience and were probably unlikely to be looking for your content on YouTube. I would try and lightly compare it to hot tub streamers and the rage against them. There is a misconception that hot tub streamers are stealing viewership from other streamers, when the reality is those are probably two separate market segments altogether. The people watching React content on Twitch are probably not the same category of people who are going to actively look for your specific content on YouTube. And in case I didn't say it enough, that doesn't mean streamers doing this is okay or ethical or legal at all. I am simply stating what I believe to be the truth about people who go to watch Twitch streams react. And finally, conclusion. I guess my final notes, I wish the video was just structured a little bit better because the good points of the video are completely overshadowed by the bad points of the video and make the video seem way more spite driven than it actually is, in my humble opinion. Not to mention that the lack of separation between personal grievances about Hassan and general comments about React streamers on Twitch as a whole makes the video really hard to watch. I am the least biased person because I am both a React streamer on Twitch and someone who makes pre-prepared content on YouTube. <laughs>
Uh, Denim, next time, can you please just end the stream? Can you please just end the stream? I am the least biased person because I am both a react streamer on Twitch and someone who makes pre-prepared content on YouTube. Thank you for your time. I hope you had a great day watching this, and I hope I made some points some people agreed with. Thank you for watching. What does take pride in your work mean? I don't know. I've been watching Superhuman for a long time. This is where the homeowners really had their best ideas, I think. The laboratory. This is a very big house that anyone would drop shipping din. You're pretty close actually. <laughs> Well, the photos are good for a dollar. Yeah. Thanks to Prime Love Shack. Thanks to the recent Paradox. You haven't seen shit from this house yet. We're only just beginning. I'll let the whole thing ride. I've seen this uh, before and looked into it. This is what it looks like when you activate 100% of your brain. I'm going to stop there, because mm. I think you get the point. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Yeah. There was a, a channel that I really enjoyed, and I watched their video on a dilapidated building that was for sale. It was a house, and it was one of the most confusing house tours of all time. It was this fucking labyrinth, a house of nightmares, and they had a great video going through all of it, and I watched it on stream. I'd already seen it before I watched it on stream as well, because I just wanted to show people and talk about it, and like get really goofy with it and figure out what was going on with this house. But I ended up just getting too lost in the video because they presented it so well, and it was just such a great video. And the creator saw my reaction to it and was really disappointed. They didn't appreciate it. And I totally understood where they're coming from because I didn't really add anything to it. I didn't really react to it. So to them, it felt like I was just re-uploading their content on my stream. And I get that perspective. I really do. But that's never the goal. It's never supposed to be piggybacking off of someone else's hard work in order to do nothing for it and make money off it. Going forward, I won't just be rolling dice hoping I can add to whatever video gets recommended on YouTube night. I will be maybe checking them for a little bit, and then if it's something that I can add to, I'll look at the rest on my own and maybe make content out of as a response to it as opposed to a real-time reaction, which has always been the majority of my content anyway. I think what really helped me understand this perspective wasn't Dark Viper's video, it was actually JXC's. 
they made a great video recently just going over the entire React ecosystem. Just going over everything from the perspective of someone that had their video reacted to by multiple people, myself included. It's actually the video of the Bizarre House walkthrough, the one that I mentioned. It was a very shameful moment for me where it's a video I really liked but didn't react hard to. I'd already seen it and I just basically shared it with my community without adding anything to it and they were upset with that which i totally do get and they made a video going over that whole situation and really helped put it in perspective for me to understand things better dark viper more focuses on dunking which I, in some cases he has every right to because i got things wrong but jx he really painted the whole picture that put it all like in a really good perspective for me to get The criticism that was thrown in my, uh, in my face uh, has been consistent throughout my career. I'm an idiot, I'm a dumb uh, bimbo, I don't know what I'm talking about. I've gotten numb to the criticism, like it's not. It's, I, as a matter of fact, I seek it out now because I make content out of it. In November of 2020, I released a YouTube video making fun of a weird house. In July of 2021, Hassan streamed a reaction to this video live on Twitch, which he spent the majority of either absent or eating food, pausing to comment very rarely, ending up adding less than two minutes of total commentary to my 14 minute video, which he plays in full. He does not give credit. I soon after responded with a satirical live stream, making sure to outline what my actual perspective was, both in the stream and in a pinned comment. This perspective was basically, I'm fine with reaction content. Hang on, let me just repeat that again very slowly slowly and clearly. I am fine with reaction, but I don't think it's cool to go around playing people's full videos on your stream without adding anything or giving credit unless you have their express permission. Hassan then responded on his next stream, first by apologizing and saying that he wasn't going to watch any of my videos on stream anymore. If you don't want me watching your stuff, I will gladly never watch it. I'm really sorry. After this, he spent approximately the next 25 minutes making arguments as to why he didn't think he was in the wrong for doing this kind of thing. Aren't you taking views away? No, most YouTubers don't mind that, actually love that shit when Twitch streamers react to their videos because they get a fucking word. fat bump. But he did always stay true to the principle that you shouldn't do this to someone if they've asked you not to. I then went live with a couple of friends discussing his arguments and disagreeing with most of them. Now, something that most people, including people from my audience, seem to not know is that I always intended to take the arguments made in that stream and turn them into their own fully edited video. As someone who primarily interacts with their audience via fully edited videos, I often do this with my live streams. If we're free now, why are we not free to do what we were doing before? If you're truly free, then you should be free to do what you were doing before. Except that doesn't always apply. Here's a stream where I live react to a Watch Mojo video, and here's a fully edited response to that video I made a few weeks later. Here's a stream where I react to some Troom Troom videos, and here's the fully edited main channel video. Stream. Video. Stream. Video. Stream. Video. So yeah, I always intended to turn this stream into a fully edited video. It just took me a little bit longer than it normally does because I had other stuff I wanted to work on first. New TV shows that I wanted to review while they were still fresh just kept coming out. A video about React content was still something I wanted to do, it just wasn't a high priority. If you still don't believe me on that, then here's a tweet from months ago where I explicitly outlined that those are my intentions. Finally, on the 1st of February 2022, I posted my first and only fully edited video on the topic. Hassan hates this video and insists that it's bad faith, despite the fact that he's never seen it. The irony of which is lost on him because of how he's a fucking stupid person. Basically, I have no way of like, I seek out the shit nonstop, right? But I've basically gotten to a point where like, I have no way of responding in a way that makes me look a little bit better. Like, it looks fine to you. Okay. It looks fine to you because you know where I'm coming from. It looks fine to you because you understand what I mean. You watch me eight hours a day. It looks fine to you. But if someone has never fucking actually watched me, and the only thing that they've seen is like an eight hour compilation or if only thing that they've seen are fucking enough clips of me standing up, leaving, and they're also I not content creators themselves. Like a so they have no way of understanding what content creators are, uh, what content creators are interested in or what content creators like or what motivates them. And the only thing that they hear is like one content creator that they actually like that has decided that reaction is bad uh, for everyone else. Then of course, like I have no good way of communicating that to people, effectively communicating that to people, and it sucks. Uh, so I got to get better at that. That's definitely something I used to be a lot better at. I don't want people to think that like I'm fucking running away from criticism. I never do. I, if anything, people get mad at me for uh, maybe doing too much, uh, uh, head diving headfirst in the criticism. The best thing to do is just ignore them. That sucks, but the uh, the misinfo would also just stay. 
I, I don't think there's any way to like, I don't think there's any way to respond to it. Um, Thanks for spending the last year with me at Hassanabai. Heart. Uh, I don't think there's any way to like respond to it and like actually fucking diffuse the situation. So I don't know. This meme itself, it's wild that this combo even, uh, it's wild that this is even a combo when most people love watching it and the overwhelming majority of content creators, including myself, love when people react to whatever we make, right? This is true. The myth of mutually beneficial react content. I can sense is the reactors. I can sense is 99.9% .9 of content creators. And I don't says random YouTuber who no one is reacting to. Isn't there somebody you forgot to ask? So I made this, I, I made this meme. Okay. And the problem with a meme like this is that it, of course, it, of course, uh, does not see the valid side of the criticisms, right? The valid sides of the criticism are this. If I watch a content creator, okay, it doesn't matter if it's helpful to them or not. If they don't want me to watch them, then they're right. It was valid to be like, hey, that's fucked up. Please don't do that again. Okay, that was valid. But milking that for an entire fucking year and continuously making like videos about it is crazy. You know, after a fucking year, especially because, like, I agree with the original point. After a year, it's like, okay, well, like, I, what, do you, what else do you want from me? You know what I mean? And the thing is, like, I will not watch their video. And every time I talk about it, like, people go and seek it out and they watch the video. The entire point is, like, to get people to watch the video a year after the fact. It's just not worth it. It's not, like... I feel like it's bad faith. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. Especially considering that like, I'm right. Or I mean, they're right. And I, I have apologized. Like, I agree. Like if someone doesn't want you to watch your shit, you don't watch their shit. That's it. Okay. So there is validity in that side, in that conversation, in that side. Do I personally think it's beneficial for them? No, but it doesn't matter. It's not me. It's their video. The guy who posted in a hot basically just wants you to pause but before you go to pee. That's it. He's in good faith. Can also be very annoying. So a bunch of people also jumped on this and were like, dude, why do you play the video while you're fucking getting up? Is it CoffeeZilla? No, of course not. I love CoffeeZilla. That person made it. Oh, that's the other reason. The person that we're talking about also made an eight hour podcast was like kill stream Nazis. What the fuck are you talking about? Where they like basically just restreamed my stream, which I don't have an issue with. But, you know, when you do that, it's like I don't I, I, it's it's impossible for me to see it as like good faith criticism. So there's that, too. There was like literally fucking kill stream Nazis on there. Ah! He's full of shit. So if you're doing that sort of stuff, like then I don't think you're doing it in good faith. I think it's kind of sad. I think it's kind of pathetic. And I'm sure they'll keep making more videos over and over again. Okay. Ultimately, what was, uh, what I am uh, uh, going to do is like, yeah, I get up when a fucking video is playing from time to time. Okay. The reason why I don't pause it when I get up is because I care about the content above all else. I care about you guys being entertained above all else. You know what your problem is? You care too much. And I know that if I fucking, um, if I pause the video, you guys are going to be fucking annoyed. You're going to be like, what the fuck are you doing? So I would rather play it on my phone while I get up. You know what I mean? While I get up and, and uh, answer the door, get the deliveries, fucking, uh, you know. Uh, even in the 10 minute period where I'm off camera sporadically when I am uh, cooking. So. Hey. So. You know, of course, of course I'm going to do that. Uh, and and the, re the real reason why I don't care about it for the most part is because 90%, like I said, but that's what the YouTuber want? Disrespectful? Wait, what do you mean? They don't even say, they don't even want to say don't react. They say they're leaving videos only and leaving disrespectful to the creator and they just want people to be more transformative. Okay, but that's the react harder argument. And most of the creators that are quite literally in here, like Nick is not green, for example, is a great, a great example of this. Like these are people from this community as well. Like they don't mind it. Like 90% of creators don't mind it. And I do react hard, okay? I react so fucking hard that there are entire memes about how much I pause. We totally forgot about this for some weird reason because one content creator with a relatively sizable audience that has partnered up with a bunch of other content creators who just fucking despise me, there's this notion on the internet that like I don't fucking react hard or something. 
There's a reason why people call me Paul Zanabi. It's so weird that people are now saying like, when he joins, you should say you're going to eat something and leave him alone with your chair for 30 minutes. That's why I'm like so confused by this. This is a wild take and it speaks to the power of compilations. I have eight hours of stream you can watch. And it's like, people are asking me, people are basically asking me uh, to change the way I do the stream, but they've never watched the stream. <laughs> Like if you were a stream watcher and that was something that was like frustrating you, that's a little bit different. You know what I mean? But you don't watch the stream. You've never watched the stream. You've only seen compilations of it. And you have a false notion that uh, I do this thing where I just like fucking play a video and move on, play a video and move on. I'm an idiot. I'm a dumb uh, bimbo. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know how the fuck it turned into like, Dude, you're not reacting hard enough to the videos. You can say that about anyone, by the way, for the record. You can say that about anyone. And there are instances where, like, if your argument is, if your argument is, don't watch my videos on stream, okay? I don't want you reacting to my videos. Valid. I will never do that again. If your argument is, watch my videos, but watch them harder, okay? And, like, react to them harder, then that's fucking ridiculous. You know what I mean? <laughs> It's very frustrating that people are now like making it seem like I just fucking sit around and don't do anything. And I know immediately when someone makes that fucking meme that they just don't watch. That they just don't watch at all. The reason why I'm saying all this is so that like we can, I guess, make a YouTube video or something eventually so that people can understand what I feel is there are moments where I'm not all there. OK, I'm live for eight to ten hours a day. There are moments when I go up and go up and pee. The reason why I don't pause it is because if I did that, everyone would be super fucking pissed. And I care about making sure that uh, I care about making sure that you guys are entertained. Like, that's what I care about more. Uh, it's just uh, more than anything else. Okay. And your crime is you care too much. And the reason why I don't think people give a shit about that overall, like I don't think content creators themselves get like super fucking mad about that overall uh, is, is because they like it when we're watching their videos. Okay. For the most part, 99.9% .9 of content creators love it. I'm a content creator. I love it when people fucking react to my videos. I don't care if they're like not reacting hard enough or whatever the fuck. It doesn't matter. But if you look at the quote tweets on that meme, the quote tweets on the uh, meme that I posted this morning, it's literally everyone being like, dude, that's all you, all you do is you're a leech. You're just an entirely bad person. Neon Tasser, you didn't react to Jay's content. You took a shit while playing his video on stream. Honestly, it'd be different if you only did this with Master's Chief and TV shit show, but full Channel 5 videos with barely any reaction sucks. I really don't think many of those viewers would go rewatch the video again, but who knows? First of all, the funny part of it is there, there are people who like don't understand content creation or why it's actually good to fucking react to videos. So they think like they operate off of like the one, the one YouTuber that they like that said, this guy sucks. So they're thinking all YouTubers feel this way when that's not the case. Most YouTubers don't mind that, actually love that shit when Twitch streamers react to their videos because they get a fucking fat bump. Yeah, I asked a load of YouTubers if they would be okay with it, and most of them said no. Like, I I've been a content creator for 10 years, man. I, 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 I know, like, can, can people at some point be like, okay, maybe you know what you're talking about? I think a good compromise is the link of the video in chat and directing people to like and subscribe to the video channel. I mean, we already do that. We already fucking literally, we already point to the video. I talk about it. I talk about the video when I'm watching it. I say, this is the content creator. I can't believe he's doing this. This is great. Um, it, it doesn't matter. This has just been a very small project on the side as I work on something much bigger. My full critique and breakdown of season 11 Okay, I'm gonna 12. add you into the call. Yeah, and he wants to be in. Um... Wow, good job he did that. This is... <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of Sigma, dude. <laughs> You're using bad faith? What?
Dearth Vapor Vapor, 18 month subscriber. What I'm I'm using bad faith. I'm using bad faith arguments here. I already recognize and admit. I already recognize and admit that if someone does not want me to watch their content, then they're completely justified. They're completely correct. There are people the not you not being in your chair bit hasn't even been mentioned in a few months. I've been here until you started pointing it out. Now everyone's saying it the trick of the classic one one stun lock. You seem to be very focused on the topic and you're backpedaling. You watch people's YouTube videos, and that's a positive way to engage with someone's content. That's a positive way to, to make an interaction with this community and their community. And then the other way to do that is basically by fucking doing these like call out posts and all this other shit. It's the same, it's the same energy. It's by trying to attack the content creator. You're like trying to fucking tackle uh, their, a piece of their audience, maybe drive a wedge between his community and try to like grab as many fucking people as you can. That stuff does not work, okay? That stuff just does not work in, in the long term. You're not gonna get enough, like, you're not gonna be able to farm enough hate engagements that uh, will, will allow you to have a sustainable business model, uh, for sure, you know what I mean? I know this, I know, I promise. I think I demonstrably have at least some level of knowledge on content creation, I've been doing it for a very long time. XQC doesn't respond and it's the smart thing to do. Speaking like a true capitalist. Yeah, exactly. You can say it's a true capitalist or whatever, but I'm not going to be baited into watching someone's fucking video a year after the point when I've already agreed with the original point that they made. Like, what do you want? What do you want me to do? The answer is, ironically, I want you to react to my video. So like, I'm not going to do that. If the main point of contention is don't react to my fucking videos, I did not consent to this. And then you try to get me to react to your further fucking videos. I'm not going to do that. Why the fuck would I ever do that? Why would I literally give in to what you want when I already acknowledge that you're in the right to fucking watch, uh, in the right to say, I don't want you to fucking watch my shit. And that's fine. Isn't it funny how Charlie mentioned his Dark Viper video, how the same person told him the same thing, react harder or don't watch. Charlie did the same thing as you and never watched their vids again, but you're the only one catching flack. Yes, because I respond because I'm a fucking idiot, okay? But I ended up just getting too lost in the video because they presented it so well and it was just such a great video. And the creator saw my reaction to it and was really disappointed. They didn't appreciate it. And I totally understood where they're coming from because I didn't really add anything to it. I didn't really react to it. So to them, it felt like I was just re-uploading their content on my stream. And I get that perspective. I really do. But that's never the goal. It's never supposed to be piggybacking off of someone else's hard work in order to do nothing for it and make money off it. Your YouTube content is there when I ain't got nothing else left to talk about, dude. Let's be straight about our business. I at least am trying. I'm making an effort to be as charitable as possible. I'm making an effort to like respond to it. You know what I mean? And then people say, Hassan, you don't take criticism well. But like, but there is a there's a degree of criticism that I can charitably understand and respect and respond to, which is what I'm doing when I say, you're right, but what else do you want? Okay. And then there is the, I don't really give a shit. I just want you to watch my favorite content creator's video. And especially because like, it's a non-issue that turns into an issue. My biggest problem on the internet, what, you're misrepresenting this argument? Can you watch this clip? In this reality, XQC doesn't use other people's labor. I'm so, I'm so sick and fucking tired of this, dude. I, I hate this. This guy is literally, look at his videos, man. Look at his fucking videos, bro. Look, look at this channel, okay? Look at this fucking channel. He's got videos with 70K views, 94K views, 64K views. Boom, nine hours ago, 228,000 views. You, what are you, are you riding or dying for him? Are you, why? Like, are you his biggest fan and you want him to fucking, look at this thumbnail, holy shit. The real, the real reason why he's doing this is because this, because he wants people to react to his fucking videos. And it's very frustrating. You're a fucking idiot if you don't realize that, okay? That, and from my perspective, this is not a good look. It just seems like the person's really mad. There's a difference between good faith criticism and bad faith criticism. You literally are trying to desperately give in to what he wants to do, which is react to my fucking videos, please.
Okay, that's what he's doing. But you don't know that because you're not a fucking content creator. I am. So I know what he's doing. There's two ways of doing it. Make good content. Okay, and you're like, hey, please watch my video. This is sick. And then I do. And it's awesome. And that's not a parasitic relationship. That's a positive relationship. And then the other way to do it is by doing call out posts and having absolute fucking baboon brained idiots like you operate on his behalf. You're literally giving him. You're helping him. You're helping him. That's the point. That's why he's doing it, you fucking idiot. He's not doing it because he legitimately thinks it's fucking unacceptable. He's doing it because then people will watch his shit and he will get a big bump. Holy fuck. Ah. Ah. Yeah, like, why the fuck would I watch his clips if his entire fucking thing is like, I, I just, listen, dude. If his entire thing is like, don't react to my shit. Okay, don't react to people. Like, why would I do that? The spikes are from starting drama, but the content itself barely grew audience. Exactly. The inverse of that is that, like, every time I get into these fucking dramas, I actually lose uh, viewership because people get mad and people get annoyed because I'm constantly fucking, uh, because I'm constantly fucking repeating the same points over and over again. It's fucking dumb to tell content creators they need to try to talk to you when you don't ask them for permission in the first place to act like a child when they try to respond. Dude, there is only one content creator who I've already fucking agree, uh, who I've agreed with that is like still farming it and you're a sucker for doing their uh marketing for them for the record because like I said the overwhelming majority the 99% of content creators are actually excited when uh people react to their content of course they are because there's many positives to it okay and you're trying to sucker me back into the uh into the drama right now by writing the same shit over and over again, which is why I'm going to ban you. And the reason why I'm banning this person is not because I'm running away from criticism, because I can't stop myself, actually, from responding to everything over and over again, and it's making the content worse for the 23,000 people that are in here. You're being selfish, and you're centering yourself in the middle of the conversation, and you don't give a fuck about the 20,000 other people that are in here, because you want to be at the center of this drama. You want to bait drama, you want to continue the stun lock, and it's fucking bullshit. Okay, unacceptable, and you should be ashamed of yourself for ruining other people's days. Tom Holland buys a Taycan, everybody celebrates it. Tom Holland gets to drive the Taycan away with his incredibly pretty girlfriend Zendaya. Tom Holland and Zendaya then buy a four million dollar home in London together, everybody celebrates that too. Sick and tired of it. Okay, sick and tired of it. And the people are gonna say Tom Holland is not a socialist. Okay, who cares? Who cares? You're just you're not mad about the action itself. When Tom Holland does it, you're just mad here. This is the part of the broadcast where I react to a news article. Sorry to fucking salon.com, but I will be reacting to their news article. Okay, I'm a reactor. I'm a react lord. This is what I do. This all started yesterday when I made the video. Our react streamers. <laughs> I need to be more like Charlie. And just like be much, much nicer to people who are very, very obviously, <clears throat> um, very obviously engaging in like not only bad faith criticism, but like the worst kind of uh, bad faith criticism. Because like even if he himself, uh, even if he himself like actually is angry about a particular person or not, he does a really good job of you know, presenting himself as, um, as just like open-minded, no matter how uncharitable someone is, it's a unique strength that he has. And I really respect him for it. Uh, I mean, it's maybe years and years and years of being like kind of a centrist on the internet he does have some centrist takes, a lot of centrist takes. Like, when I am faced with uh, a barrage of like shitty criticisms that are completely just bad faith, it's very difficult for me to take that person seriously and be charitable to them. I wonder if this dude talked about Misgive at all. Because Misgive just said he's a clout farmer and moved on. He might have. He might have mentioned Misgive as well, but probably not to the same degree as he talks about Charlie and maybe even myself if he did mention myself. I do believe that it's because 
Um, again, this is not when you like legitimately have a gripe with whatever the fuck you're talking about, but instead you're talking about whoever the fuck you're, um, you're, you're basically covering like whoever will bite. Like, do you talk about XQC? It's just so weird because like who cares? Okay, he got something wrong in one of his YouTube videos like I don't know what it is where you know how I always say like be normal this is what I mean when you see someone who made a YouTube video right and 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 you know there's some like incorrect stuff in it and you just make another YouTube video about why there's incorrect stuff in it if it's about like monetization of your fucking YouTube channel or something like, why do you think it's the utmost, most important fucking thing that you could ever do? Like, you need to retract this. You need to retract this immediately. Like, you are misinforming people. It's like, that's kind of weird, man. What, what the fuck? Just, like, give up. Give it up. And I do see a lot of this. I do see a lot of this fucking uh, uh, way of behaving on Twitch. I'm sorry. It is just how it is. Like, some of you motherfuckers are like that. You can't calm down. You, like see something that is that you have considered to be an injustice and you literally fucking it just like breaks your brain it could be an injustice like eating the last cookie in the cookie jar but in your mind it's like this is uh, the on this needs to be punished immediately this is the absolute worst injustice that has anyone uh, that has ever happened it's like calm down dude it's just a fucking cookie it's just a cookie how dare you say it's just a cookie it's the last cookie what if i was dying in the middle of a desert in the middle of a food desert huh it's genocide! You were treating me like the Kulaks were being treated by Stalin! It's like, nah, I just, it's just a cookie. Like, chill the fuck out. You know what I mean? And, you, and if you see this kind of behavior in yourself, you can stop it. You fucking clout goblin, dude. What a fucking musty little freak, dude. Holy shit. Put him in his like little fucking basement wearing his ugly ass tank top with his fucking hamburger this meat popping out. If you see this kind of behavior in yourself, you can stop it. My lord, what a fucking sick freak, dude. You know, places that are a little bit closer to me than your fucking dumbass podunk Hungarian city that you love jerking off to about its fucking, you know, institutions and, and civil engineering. Disgusting filth, dude. Eurocentrist trash. If you see this kind of behavior in yourself, you can stop it. Cut a liberal and a fucking fascist bleeds. The way that these fucking nerds, and some of you are like this uh, as well, the way that some of you fucking nerds behave is so insanely unlikable that it doesn't matter. You're just being pedantic and like there's a reason why you don't have friends in the real world and the only friends that you have are on, on the internet months. of like like-minded people that also behave in the same way. Um, I mean, I'm sorry. It's a, here. Here's a pill. Okay, here. Take it. The hard to swallow pill. Okay, but but that's the truth. It's literally the truth. And like you seek out other people that are exactly like you and then you fucking despise them too because you kind of hate yourself and they're behaving in the same way that you're behaving because that's why you're in that fucking, uh, you know, weird like uh, pedantic uh, circle that you're in. Okay, but just don't do that. Like you can not do that. There's a way to address this. And that is like if you notice yourself being fucking weird and and, you know, trying to get people tripped up on like semantics arguments and stuff like that like the easiest thing to do is just shut the fuck up don't do that ever again i promise your life will be better i promise your life will be happier
No, he's just like, I just don't lock. I just don't fucking lock when you're doing Twitch streams. All right? I don't lock it. Just don't do fucking Twitch streams. I don't lock it. Just pre-watch every fucking video. Here's an idea. No. Just no. Like, there's just no reason to do that. Especially when the overwhelming majority of content creators literally appreciate you watching their video. Isn't that what you do already? I mean, yeah, I mean, I do that. I do the final version of that you see on my YouTube page. Because I do, in some ways, treat the Twitch stream like uh, a, a precursor to YouTube. Or the things I talk about here will inevitably make it uh, make it into my YouTube page where that video is flushed out. It has editing in it. We delete the, the parts that... Uh, my actual YouTube channel, not like the ones that are Hasanabi uh, uh, fan channels, right? Because some of them do fucking put like sh straight segments without any sort of editing whatsoever, and I get annoyed by that, but like there's nothing I can really do. I just urge them not to, but they don't... The anti-react video about you gets brought up soon, so you probably should stop watching. You know that I don't just do react shit. Oh, he's gonna- is he gonna start shitting? I- I can see Charlie shitting on me here, too. You know that, but you still portray- Yeah, someone said, why would he do that? This is exactly why. Throwing me under the bus is the safest play because I'm a literal lightning- lightning rod for hate. Not to give the blueprint, I think it's very cowardly if content creators do that shit. Obviously, jokingly is one thing, but if they were to fucking do that to deflect uh, attention and criticism away from themselves, albeit like the criticism is completely unjustifiable, um, that's really just a, the most cowardly thing you can do. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying Charlie will. I'm just saying that, that like, content creators that do that are fucking cowardly. And we'll maybe check them out for a little bit to see if it's anything that I can add value to. And if not, we're done. If there is, then we're still done because it's going to be a video that I will then watch the rest of on my own. If it is something that I can truly add something to, and add more to for the no content way. in order to branch off. Yeah, I'm never going to do that for the record. I will never fucking do that. That is a completely unrealistic and insane expectation. Um, especially for like... Okay. When people make demands, you have to think about what your infraction is. Okay, like, what are you doing that is harmful and what the impact is? Infraction and impact. What is the infraction here? Stealing content, apparently, okay? Who is being harmed by this? Other content creators, and how are they being harmed by this? Potentially, they're being harmed because they're losing out on the 30,000 extra views that they would get from the content creator that are watching. Okay? Uh, from the uh, content creator. Like, they were all, all 30,000 were going to stumble upon it on their own. Okay, if the infraction itself is, damn, you were quick with that. If the infraction itself is, uh, for the most part, completely fucking uh, just innocuous, okay? And oh, the Monday action, the impact of it is something that by and large people anyone. not only do not care about, but also actually appreciate for the overwhelming majority of content creators, I'm not going to fucking stop. I'm not going to capitulate to someone who I've never watched before, to someone who I will forget about tomorrow. I understand that that's still a large chunk of the video itself, so it is still pretty close to like almost the full runtime in some cases. So again, going forward, I won't just be rolling the dice hoping I can add to whatever video gets recommended on YouTube night. I will be maybe checking them for a little bit, and then if it's something that I can add to, I'll look at the rest on my own and maybe make content out of as a response to it as opposed to real-time reaction, which has always been the majority of my content anyway. I think what really helped me understand this perspective wasn't Dark Viper's video, it was actually JXC's. They made a great video recently just going over the entire React ecosystem, just going over everything from the perspective of someone that had their video reacted to by multiple people, myself included. It's actually the video of the Bizarre House walkthrough, the one that I mentioned, was a very shameful moment for me where it's a video I really liked but didn't react hard to. I'd already seen For the record, and I've, as I've said this already, 
earlier today. And as I said, even back then, that person is correct. I should not have watched his video. You get yelled at for pausing and talking too much, then you get yelled at for not reacting hard enough. What are you supposed to do now? I mean, what, what the fuck do you mean? I, I'm literally going to do exactly what I've been doing, which is whatever the fuck I want to do, bitch. What, what are you talking about? You couldn't really ask for a more explicit declaration that he's not going to change the way he does things. That person is correct to say, dude, you walked away. You didn't even give good reactions to this. This is my work. That's correct. I've said this a year ago, but it doesn't matter because then they continued. They continued to make more and more content about it because now Charlie's fucking talking about it. Like, this is the point. There are positive ways of, there are positive ways of fucking dealing with other people's content. There are positive ways of engaging with someone reactions and then there are negative ways of dealing with someone, which is this, which is what Dark Viper is doing, which is what Jay's doing, which is uh, to attack, to criticize, and try to fucking uh, piece together as much of a negative hate farming, negative engagement as you possibly can. Okay? I personally think reacting is a better way to merge communities, to win over new fans, and that the, at most, if you do like negative farming, negative hatred uh, uh, engagement farming, you're going to see a minor bump, but the people that are going to come to your side are going to be incredibly fucking toxic. Now, that person literally, again, remember, it's a five minute video from one fucking year ago that I have already addressed. I said, hey, I do this. Sometimes people don't like when I'm watching their videos. And I deeply am apologetic. I don't see this as like a major infraction. And I just never watch their videos ever again. And I move on. This is what I said one fucking year ago. Since then, he made a video or they made a video. Afterwards, they uh, had like a bunch of fucking Nazis in the kill stream get together and do an eight hour reaction to my entire stream. I think it was an eight or 10 hour fucking podcast that they did on that. Okay. And I apologized back then. And they held on to the grudge. And then they made another video now. Another video a year later. Sargon of Akkad joined. Multiple eight-hour streams. If you expect me to think that that person is charitable at this point, Six I don't know what to tell you. Because it's not. You're a fucking psycho if you think that that is a charitable person. No, that is a deranged person. It's a five-minute video which I apologize for. It's incredibly petty. It's incredibly fucking petty. Sorry, it's just the truth. Now let's watch the rest of this. Seen it and I just basically shared it with my community without adding anything to it. And they were upset with that, which I totally do get. And they made a video going over that whole situation and really helped put it in perspective for me to understand things better. And Don by the way, yeah, so they're basically utilizing and profiting off of React content by complaining about it, got it? No, that's precisely what they're doing. That is exactly what they're doing. That is what they're doing. Yes. Like making a ma major, like, look, dude, lol cows are not the fucking new thing on the internet, okay? Dark side Phil is like a very common one. And for a lot of fucking weirdo, neck bearded, pasty fucks that spend all their time on Kiwi Farms and 4chan, they try to fucking lol cow me. Says base level lefty takes. You guys are coping so fucking hard. Nine month subscriber following since March 7th, 2019. Here you go. My friend, I'm going to save you from the brain disease that you've had for since 2019. Okay. Clearly, you can't stop yourself. Like, you still come in here, you still subscribe or get a gifted sub. Uh, and, and I'm going to help you out. Okay. I am going to put you down like, you know, like a horse that can't run any longer. Okay. You're going to the glue, glue factory. Okay. It's been a beautiful nine months, but, uh, you know, there you go to the glue factory for you. Finally, you can be free. Okay. Easy clap. He says. You are, your life is so sad. 
that the only fucking adrenaline that you ever can get is a brief moment where I recognize your existence. That is so pathetic. You are not even a worm. You are less than a worm. And this is why you have no friends. This is why you spend all your time on the internet. This is why you constantly question yourself. Does this person hate me? Whenever you have new interactions, before they get to recognize how deeply disturbed you are, you always question yourself thinking, fuck, are they gonna, are they gonna hate me when they find out a little bit more about myself? What's up, folks? I'm live and alive, and we got a lot to talk about. I was right about Ukraine, that's right. War is not imminent. Oh, shocked, shocked to find out. Anyway, we're gonna talk about that and a bunch of other stuff, so get in now. Anything from you for this, you can literally go back and look at the fucking the DMs that they will openly admit. I literally bought them computers and said, here, you get to own the means of your fucking production. This way, you can do whatever you want with your own computer. But of course, these motherfuckers who are so horny, so fucking horny, to disparage someone that they fucking hate, are going to rush the judgment even after this piece of fucking garbage knew that this clip was fu knew that this fucking tweet was deleted, and he still <laughs> talked about it on his fucking stream. Because he's a piece of shit, and no different than fucking Keemstar. <laughs> If you see this kind of behavior in yourself, you can stop it. There you go. I gave you your fucking shred of relevance. <laughs> you gnome fuck. <laughs> oh my god. For the record, my issue as a trans person is the fact that you, a guy that isn't uh -oh. super well versed on trans shit, brought on a known transphobe knowing he might bring up transphobic shit. You aren't exactly a vosh at trans debates. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> He's gonna lose it. I hope, I hope that uh -oh. the rest of your life is as horrible as it is every single day, okay? Jesus Thanks. Christ! <laughs> oh no! Suck my dick. I despise you. I despise you more than anything else on the planet. Jesus! You are fucking cancer, okay? You are cancer in this community, and you're cancer in every community. Suck my dick. For the past 15 months, you've been able to fucking hide in these ranks, you cat boy fuck. <laughs> Move your cat boy ass out of here. You are never welcome. I don't want people to think that like I'm fucking running away from criticism. I never do. It's I as a matter of fact, I seek it out now. You are never welcome. They try to fucking lol cow me. I'll change this every day to Ukraine is still has still not been invaded by Russia every day to to make sure the uh, to make sure that the wishes of these fucking weirdo like I'm actually a sock them and you're a fucking tanky uh, idiots on the internet will yeah change it to. Russia still has yet to invade Ukraine. This is why you even question the anxieties that you feel every single day. When you question, like, do, 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 does my mom and dad actually fucking hate me too? This is the reason. And they do, by the way. Yes, they do. They do hate you. Because you have a bad brain. If you've been watching since 2019, and you literally come in here exclusively to have takes like this, like to have shit takes, Okay? For that adrenaline rush, for the brief moment of comfort that you get because Big Streamer Man noticed me. Your existence is pathetic. You are a burden on this planet. His position is that you are overstating how bad she is and using things that aren't 100% true to justify just like the stuff you said about Biden. <laughs> Everything I said about Biden is true, you fucking idiot! That, and from my perspective, this is not a good look. It just seems like the person's really mad. You care more about being like, yo, Hasanabi, you were fucking wrong. I hope you Austin all get dra uh, drafted, dude. Wait, hey. Oh. I hope you get fucking drafted. And Hitler invaded countries based on Germanic ties at first. Yeah, dude. Talk to me when he's fucking throwing Ukrainians in a, in a, in a fucking... What are you talking about? Talk to me when he's throwing Ukrainians at a concentration camp, okay? Hitler wasn't fucking bad because he decided to invade Austria. He was bad because he was fucking killing Jews, okay? That was the problem. He wasn't like, he wasn't like, oh yeah, we're gonna fucking annex territory with like Germanic people in it. That wasn't the main problem with Hitler, I think. That was like maybe eighth down the line. I don't like you. I'm gonna make this very clear. If you are this type of person, I don't like you. I don't want you to be in here, okay? Or if you're gonna be in here, you need to fucking know your place. You need to know your place. Your place <laughs> is so this, mad. okay? It's not this, it's this. You can stay in here and watch, 
But you're not going to be able to fucking write shit in the chat. Sorry. I would l quite literally rather have someone who is on the margins and is actually interested in learning but might have transphobic points of view rather than someone who's like, mm, I'm a cat boy, I've been in here for 50 months and I think like, you know, you're not that good at debate so you shouldn't have a transphobic person on. Like, no, fuck off. Hassan is just not good at making arguments because he's not a debate bro. They try to fucking lol cow me. Everybody does hate you. Your anxieties are real. Maybe you'll even get a girlfriend. You'll fall in love. Maybe your parents won't fucking despise you because they've created such a pathetic, filthy little spawn that is only a burden on them. Okay? There you go. Why can't you just ban him? The need to humiliate people? I mean, I can just ban him. I can just ban you, for example. There you go. I'm fucking running away from criticism. The need to humiliate people, sometimes you need to make an example out of them. Watching you squirm after Destiny's stream is my favorite thing to watch. Here's some money for the best content on Twitch XD. Thanks, buddy. I have your email now, by the way, just for the record. So why don't you just stop fucking sending me donos to harass me for your daddy Destiny with literally your email involved in it? What a fucking stupid thing you just did now. Why would you do that? Why would you donate money to me with your fucking actual email, you absolute idiot? I have your full name now. And this time, if I go to fucking Twitch, it's reasonable because you're literally harassing me. Do you know how many fucking donos I've gotten from Destiny's fans tonight? Do you know how many fucking Destiny fans have sent me their emails tonight? Excuse me. Paying I'm money sorry. just I'm so they can fucking control. shit talk? I for that. Huh? How fucking brain dead are you guys? Of course. I actually started hate watching Hassan as a brainwashed Republican kid from Ohio and end up agreeing with everything he's ever said. Watch and listen with an open mind and even, uh, even open mind, even if you don't agree with everything, man makes great points. Thank you. <laughs> they try to fucking lol cow me. Nothing I do is performative. So I'm not going to, for instance, um, I'll use Hassan as an example. I'm not going to talk to a black person like Trihex and say, hey, the N word, it's always <laughs> you think black people what a fucking liar dude what a fucking weasley little liar you are just a trans person sorry you don't know what the fuck you're talking about <laughs> oh my god dude this is actually so much more brutal than i thought it would be holy shit and guess what the only thing i'm centering right now is the top of the hour ad break bitch Woo! because at the top of the fucking hour there's a 60 second ad break and if you no longer want to see those ads you want to how about you center yourself around fucking I Alternate camera angle of Hassan's stream right now. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're... You're the exact type of person that we need, please, to save us. This is the hill I will die on. Russia cannot launch an urban counterinsurgency war in a neighboring country with 44 million people with or without NATO support. This is why I've been saying he won't invade Ukraine, not because of anything else. He's a bad person, not a mad one. Yeah? I would look like Tim Pool after that 49-state landslide L if you know there was a bombing active bombing currently happening on kiev and like ukrainians were being murdered left and right at this moment i would f i would be that way if america was like we're we're going with a full-throated this is a full-blown invasion and yet it hasn't happened because if you're actually working class you recognize that like i myself am not that far removed from like fucking being working class and also not only that still advocate for working class values I get so mad at this when YouTubers look around, okay, and they make one fucking video. They make one fucking video a month and get, like, Patreon money, or they make, like, two fucking videos a week max, okay? And then they cash out with, like, a six-figure check because they have a, a sea of simps. And then they turn around and shit on streamers who literally fucking go live for six to eight hours every day. Like, that's nuts, dude. Of course there's going to be dead space in between, you stupid fuck. This shit genuinely tilts me, dude. It genuinely tilts me. You could make a compilation of me sitting around, not even on camera, with a fucking video playing in the background. So petty, hot rod chatter. Bro, do you not know by now? Like, yeah, I'm petty as shit, dude. They try to fucking lol cow me. So there is a target rich environment for someone to be like, this guy fucking sucks. Now, obviously, unlike DSP, I have a community, a fan base. 
I make content that like avoids the those fucking weirdos for the most part. So that is precisely why there is like you're you're hacky. You're like jumping on this exclusively so you can you know milk the negative engagement that you can possibly get because you're basically lawn, you're landing on top of an audience of pre existing really fucking deranged people. And I'm telling you guys this like this is like really fucking personal shit. I should not be even talking about this. Okay, but. Hassle. Um, but that is, but that is how it works. Um, and talking about this also makes it a lot worse. Usually, like acknowledging them is the worst thing you can possibly do. But there it is. I mean, Pokemon has them. I have them. Alinity had them. I think they've like kind of gone away. They've kind of gone uh, sideways. They've, they've went somewhere else. Amaranth has them. Trainwreck has them. There's there are a lot of people that have like a community of. People who spite them, who hate them, who watch them, specifically because they're sitting around in a forum and they're writing every single thing that I've done that day to just talk to one of them. Asmongold has them. Everyone has them. And they're stalkers. And it's stalker behavior. And it is... It, it, it can get really sad for the people that are doing that. It's, it, it's really, really damaging for the people that are doing that. I've talked directly to them before and been like listen you can get out of this fucking dark hole but all of those content creators that are coming across like they're making legitimate fucking uh criticisms the reason why they uh, are doing this is because they tap into those audiences yeah they're farming a viewership that has already built in dislike for the streamers they're talking about they do that for sure some creators that have been around for a very long time like charlie have been able to avoid that Myself included, it's actually the video of the bizarre house walkthrough, the one that I mentioned, it was a very shameful moment for me where it's a video I really liked but didn't react hard to. I'd already seen it and I just basically shared it with my community without adding anything to it and they were upset with that, which I totally do get. Some creators that have been around for a very long time like Charlie have been able to avoid that. That is the reason why um, what that person is doing is not even remotely charitable. If it was something that I've done, that was like genuinely fucking morally abhorrent behavior that they were making this many videos on and farming it for this much content and I had never apologized for it. That's one thing. Dark Viper more focuses on dunking, which I, in some cases he has every right to because I got things wrong. But Jay actually really painted the whole picture that put it all like in a really good perspective for me to get. I needed to play by his oh. definition of react streamers, which I do understand now was a mistake on my part because that does not fit into the same category that he was criticizing. Which Again, like Charlie is giving way too many concessions here. Like he's too fucking nice. He's like painfully fucking nice, dude. I I'm serious. Maybe I don't know. I is is super super fucking hard for me to to look at this as a productive video when like. You're capitulating to uh, people who are operating in very bad faith, not just bad faith, but like actually bad faith. And then also on top of that, making it seem like they are actually being super charitable in your criticisms. Even though he's confused on how- Charlie isn't a psycho like you, man. He can't handle the hate you can. Yeah, that's true. Um, I mean, but he's not going to get hate anyway, because he, he does a really good job of like making it seem like even no matter how fucking deranged someone's point of view might be, it's actually like, oh, well, I'm seeing your side right now. Jay wasn't being bad fate. Dude, 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 I'm sorry, my friend. I'm sorry. The amount of content does not fucking fit the bill. If Do you think it's appropriate to do like multiple eight hour fucking podcasts with a bunch of psychos, including like actual fucking Nazis, and then literally making another video? He's going to make another video about this regardless. He's probably already made another video about this or done multiple streams over this. I'm sorry, at a certain point, it's not like, it's not, it's not fucking appropriate, especially because I apologized a year ago for watching it. And the funniest part about it is that you, as a non-content creator, don't understand the dynamic between content creators and other content creators. So in your mind, you're like, well, it does make sense. It does seem like it's kind of fucked up. You're just like stealing their labor. Maybe you're a graphics design guy, okay? And you think, well, this is exactly like when the fucking big company uh, commissioned paintings for me and then never paid me for it or some shit like that. So that's the problem the, the problem is like you have no way of understanding it and that person is abusing your lack of knowledge uh and and your lack of understanding your lack of comprehension on how like uh this ecosystem works to drive uh more hateful engagement you see the way you stream just hypnotizes me
And I just yeah, he has a bigger YouTube guys. channel than you. It's pretty funny how he is the little guy. He did a four-hour video on Doctor Who. Don't steal content. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it doesn't matter. I'm sure they've done it. Yeah, Dark Side Viper is a bigger YouTuber than me. He has a bigger YouTube channel than I do. The guys that are fucking yelling uh, about me and about others are not actually tiny fucking people. But the comparison, back to the comparison I was talking about. I tackle it head on. I yell about it. I never fucking cave. I never give in. And that probably makes me seem like a dickhead or a douchebag to the people that are not super uh, aware of the issue or the people that are looking at it and going, yeah, it is kind of fucked up. This person is making some good points. Why is this guy yelling? I, I guess he just doesn't know how to deal with criticism. Uh, and then there's the XQC way of dealing with it. Um, doing a video on a show is not stealing content, you clown. Brother. That's just your point of view. It was a whole one hour video that boiled down to you should have asked to stream my content. Ironic, the house video was just Jay reacting to Google's content. Well, I already fucking said he's right about that. And I apologize for it a year ago. So that's fucking crazy that he's still making videos about it when we agree supposedly on the issue. So for those of you who think that that's like actually fucking totally in good faith, I don't know what to tell you, man. They're correct if, they say, if they're like, I don't want you to react to my videos. Which is kind of a weird response to a comment in which I actively tell him I'm fine with him reacting to my content. It's not, if you see this, I'm happy for you to react to my videos. Come on, holy fuck! Like, how many times? Hassan, you got up from your chair one time, so now all the content you ever made is chair? Yeah, I know, that's like the really weird part. And when those reactors are gone- You seriously can't be defending React content? Of course I am. Of course I am. What is this, 2016 YouTube dumbass? Everybody does it and it's fucking good. Like, you enjoy it. You're literally here watching me react to Charlie's content. Like, that's so stupid, man. It's so stupid. You're... Like, they make it seem like this is completely undefensible. Like, or indefensible. It's so fucking weird. Other Donkey's channels. video about the house was much better and he played his two words as outrage. I mean, yeah, well, Donkey's fucking dope. Framed it. I've actually seen some other content creators saying things like, I guess Hassan just gets up and lets a video play for an hour, etc. Clearly not getting that the chair is a meme. Yeah, I know. That's what's frustrating. Like, this has staying power, okay? It's like fucking when you have like psychopathic, delusional, deranged, self-interested pieces of shit that are regularly gaslighting everyone. Um then yeah some people are going to believe that after a while they're going to unironically think like one of the top fucking twitch streamers is just routinely leaving just like playing a video and then walking the fuck away that is so delusional just watch for yourself dude just watch that's all i urge you to do okay I'm sure there are at least a hundred people that came in here earlier today to be like, I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him good. I'm going to, I'm going to fucking notice. I'm going to see for my own, with my own two eyes that this motherfucker just, you know, plays a video and then walks away all day. That's all he does. I hope if you're one of those hundred people that came in here with that uh, POV that maybe you now recognize that that was fucking wrong. And that person was quite literally lying to you about the way that uh, I make content. And hopefully you will be a little bit more, uh, I don't know, critical in the way that you approach uh, your favorite content creators in the, in, uh, in your, uh, you know, in your approach. Jay on ironically said that in his video too, there's no serious convo. What do you mean? He said that that's all I do. I just sit around and let my chair do the reacting. That's why so many people are fucking saying that. Hassan is an accomplished creator who almost certainly knows better than to just- Oh, he left. Okay, so it actually turns out that Hassan will just fairly regularly get up and leave while other people's videos are playing. This isn't what I'm here to prove in this video. This is just a fact. This is something he does. You could make a compilation of me sitting around, not even on camera, with a fucking video playing in the background. You could- when you're live for 13 hours a fucking day, of course there's gonna be, of course there's gonna be fucking dead space 
in between. But it's not the leaving in and of itself that is the issue. The same issue would be present if he was just sat there not saying anything, like Jinx was. The getting up and leaving for extended periods of time just goes to show that he doesn't give a shit about even pretending that he's contributing anything here. But even when he's in the room, he's no stranger to just streaming other people's content with his own face in the corner. Now any content creator he does this to could be entirely okay with it, but I know from personal experience that he definitely doesn't bother to check. Now this certainly isn't the only thing he does, hell it's not even the only kind of reaction content that he does, but it is something that he does pretty often, so let's talk about it. He said that that's all I do, I just sit around and let my chair do the reacting? That's why so many people are fucking saying that. This certainly isn't the only thing he does. Hell, it's not even the only kind of reaction content that he does. By the way, I've ironically never watched this dude's videos and I will refuse to watch his videos because the original video that he made is about how I shouldn't watch his videos. And I know that he wants me to watch his videos on stream, but... I don't know if he actually said that. I don't know if he actually said that or not, but what I can tell you is this. His fan base absolutely thinks that. Which is pretty funny because, again, other YouTube content creators uh, have quite literally made jokes about... Um, uh, other content creators have quite literally made jokes, like casually explained, have quite literally made jokes. They tweet something about you truly every hour, truly unhinged. Jesus fucking Christ. I just saw one of them on Twitter say, uh, just say that you're staying on your chair because of this now. He did good. Dog, I literally gained like 25 to 30 pounds uh, over the course of 2020 because I just don't move at all. Like, that's not, I just, I sit on this fucking chair for eight hours. He starts by saying all reactors are bad people, so I mean... His video boils down to link every video to watch because people aren't capable of finding the video themselves and react harder. Yeah, it's really stupid. That's poisoning the well, as he says. Dark Viper is the bad fate version of that Jay's video was about. Jay's video was fucking bad too, man. Like, Jay never said you always do that, I got fat for you. His entire fucking fan base thinks I do that, so I don't know what to tell you about that. This certainly isn't the only thing he does. Hell, it's not even the only kind of reaction content that he does. There, like, that's all the criticism I hear. Non-fucking-stop. Every single one of these motherfuckers are like, dude, you literally, like, literally fucking don't actually. All you do is just, like, sit around and you don't do anything. Um, you fucking play a video and you move on. I guess subconsciously, the way I said that I had to stop watching the video, Lamau. Yeah, I mean, dude, fans, fuck, I basically said it twice. Yeah, basically, I mean, I only watched a part, but that's what they said with more words, basically. Yeah, I know, but their fans are not going to see that. This certainly isn't the only thing he does. Hell, it's not even the only kind of reaction content that he does. People fucking freaked out over MasterChef. I got hit with a fake... I got hit with a fake DMCA. Remember? And people saw the fake DMCA and were like, well, next time it'll be a real one. They weren't celebratory that we caught someone trying to fucking weaken the system by abusing the system that's set in place. Instead of getting excited for that dub, they were still like, well, fuck you. Uh, you know, next time it'll be a real one. Since then, everyone but fucking Gordon Ramsay, pretty much, has been a fan. I have Graham, like, has gotten on Twitch as a consequence of me watching MasterChef. I've had MasterChef con contestants on the stream. Aran is making me cookies right now. We, I had her on, and she literally gained 20K fucking YouTube subs that in that moment when I had her on and I pointed to her fucking YouTube channel. So that's the, the reason why I'm making that meme of like, yes. oh, I'm having fun. The people that I'm reacting to are having fun and everyone's consenting except for random guy in Australia who's very upset for no fucking reason. When you react to that one r slash Hassan Piker post after the Nikki drama, it really showed that not only are you willing to admit when you're wrong, but also willing to be empathetic to those who engage with good faith criticism. Yeah, exactly. If it's someone in my fan base, if it's a, if someone is coming at it, like by even recognizing that they're being emotional about their criticism or anger, I literally fucking, I, I still will apologize. I don't want to harm uh, someone. I don't want to hurt someone's feelings. That's not who I am. That's not, uh, that's not what I do at all. Yo, that's my arm on your shirt. It was stolen by boss. So I haven't gotten any revenue or credit, which has sucked a lot because I'm a very small artist. I tweeted it. If you want to share. Here you go. Liv, this is uh, wonderful. I love this art.
pay them? Dude, what the fuck? Paid with exposure? Chat. I didn't fucking steal this person's art. Why are you guys yelling at me, dude? Dude, what the fuck? Paid with exposure. I don't want to harm uh, someone. I don't want to hurt someone's feelings. That's not who I am. That's not, uh, that's not what I do at all. Show their fucking channel name, dude. It's not a big deal. No shit, dumbass. What kind of a fucking baboon are you? Bungus. Like, you think I disagree with that? Why do you... Oh, God, I fucking despise these dipshits, dude. I seek it out now. Yo, I swear to God, dude. I swear to fucking God. Like, just such a fucking dingus, dude. Look, just show their no, channel name, dumbass. Baby. How is that so fucking hard? Like, what is this attitude that you have? You stupid fuck. I don't want to harm uh, someone. I don't want to hurt someone's feelings. That's not who I am. That's not, uh, that's not what I do at all. Why did you say retail workers hate their lives? Yes, I said retail workers. Why did you say retail workers hate their lives? That's fuck, man. I worked in retail, but my life was worth living. Okay, I'm just going to ban you, dude. Um, okay, I think you need to cool off a little bit. You know, go and... Uh, just, just go and, uh, you know, live a life worth living outside, okay? Eat grass, dumbass. I just, like... I don't know if that guy deserved a ban, to be honest. Do you want one too, dude? Here you go. 22-month subscriber. Have fun with that, okay? Get fucked. I don't want to harm uh, someone. I don't want to hurt someone's feelings. That's not who I am. That's not, uh, that's not what I do at all. Do you want one too, dude? Here you go. 22 month subscriber. Have fun with that. Okay. <laughs> oh, damn. He's gone to the evil side. I've been doing this for a very long time. Like, I, I've never stopped doing this. I seek it out now. Mad streamer? Yeah, I am fucking mad. Here, take a week off, dipshit. Don't you think you went a little hard? You too, dude. Here you go. 28 month subscriber. I don't want to harm uh, someone. I don't want to hurt someone's feelings. That's not who I am. That's not, uh, that's not what I do at all. Just because I don't cry about it and turn around and go, Oh me, look how much of a fucking victim I am. Like, Dark Side Viper or whatever the fuck his name is and, and JX uh, Machina doesn't change the reality that like you're fucking absolutely weaponizing your pretty sizable fan base. Okay, you're doing that. You're doing that same shit. Shut the fuck up. Be happy that I don't do the same back to you if we're being fucking real. At least I have some decency, okay, to like avoid your fucking shitty content for the most part. If you had your mods link the videos that you watch, this would all blow over. You're so fucking wrong because they do already. And I literally mention it in the chat when I watch videos all the time, except for that one instance where I was fucking cooking and I fucked up and I admitted that I fucked up. But you're still talking about it because you're a fucking idiot. That, and from my perspective, this is not a good look. It just seems like the person's really mad. If that was the case, then you would have shut the fuck up. You never would have had that criticism. You literally never would have had that criticism. My, my mods actually fucking spam links whenever we have people on on the stream my mods actually fucking spam youtube videos when people ask for what the youtube video is i spam the youtube videos i show the youtube videos i give props to the fucking content creator a lot of the content creators i watch if not nearly all of them are friends of mine or at least in the fucking uh, circle of of content creators i'm familiar with that i know would not have a hard time or a problem with me watching their shit some of the content creators that I watch without consent come into the chat while I'm watching their shit and go, that's awesome. Thank you so much for watching my shit. Okay? Not only that, Philip DeFranco is another great example of this. Philip DeFranco will add me to farm fucking engagement, will add me on the and clickbait titles with me, knowing full well that I will fucking pause his videos, will literally fucking make jokes about how much I pause his videos. Same with casually explained. So many people 
on the, in the YouTube sphere has made jokes about how much I fucking pause videos and how much context I add on the bullshit. I'm doing it right now. This is a 30 minute video from my friend, Charlie, who made a video, right? 30 fucking minute video. I've been talking about this for an hour. I do this every fucking day. So it's additionally ridiculous that like people who have clearly never watched a fucking video they all enjoy the bump they get from us watching next. If this is about not linking the vid, the URL and the video title on stream nonstop, just put it in the YouTube search bar, Lamont. Yeah, exactly. It's fucking bullshit. It's just totally bullshit. It's total, total, total nonsense. It's people trying to make a. It's. Yeah, I mean, here, look, look at this. Everybody is 24 minute Jubilee video triggers Hasanabi for two hours. Liberal teens versus conservative parents. Really? You think I just sit there? You think it's just, what, what is it? You think it's like 24 hours in a loop? Hey, I'm not mad at this guy at all. I'm, I'm mad at the fucking dudes that have been like trying to create a non-issue. And the unfortunate reality is like, here's the secret sauce, okay? Here's the secret sauce. You make, a, you make a big deal, you make a big stink out of a thing that is otherwise a complete non-issue. The moment that other content creators, like larger content creators react to it, okay? That's when it becomes an issue. It's like the DMCA shit. Everyone's still watching dmca able content, but everyone shut the fuck up about it. How did that happen? How did that happen? Why did everybody shut the fuck up about it? It was the grossest violation. Motherfuckers were acting like they were IP lawyers on the, on the internet, on Reddit. Why is no one talking about it anymore? Because no one gives a fuck. Hot tubs. Hot tubs were the worst thing that's ever happened. It's just whatever the fuck is in front of you, okay? Whatever the fuck is in front of your eyes, that's it. And now it's become a fucking issue, even though it's not a real issue at all, because like I said, the people that uh, most people are reacting to actually appreciate it. The people that are watching the reaction content appreciate it. And that's it. But absolutely, I took a peanut butter and L E sandwich on a lot. Of no, he didn't. He did not. Like the fucking things that he quote unquote took an L on are ridiculous, dude. I I, I don't know. I think I can't tell if Charlie's doing this because he's like the nicest person ever. Or if he's doing it to come across more reasonable and like, uh, you know, to, you got to fucking cave a little bit. You got to you got to like make it seem like, you know, the other side made your interlocutors made some good points specifically so that you can like win over uh, their their audience to, or make their audience more receptive. Um, I don't know. I, I think it, it, my honest my honest assumption here uh, or my honest take on this is that like he didn't. He is way too charitable and way too nice to people who are very clearly trying to fucking farm off of his likeness, off of his clout, all of that. You were once upon a time a decent content creator. Oh my Be god, dude. Oh dude, I'm losing my mind on behalf of Charlie. I'm gonna I'm gonna yell at him. Dude, he's so fucked up, this guy. Why is he so fucking nice? He watched his entire video and this guy's like saying you make shit content. You fucking clout goblin, dude. What a fucking musty little freak, dude. Holy shit. Look at him in his like little fucking basement wearing his ugly ass tank top with his fucking hamburger this meat popping out. My lord, what a fucking sick freak, dude. Oh, your content fucking sucks. Yeah, shut the fuck up, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, God. Oh, it is so gross, dude. Holy shit. Why did you apologize? Oh my god. And then I started branching into other forms of content that I, I just have a lot more fun Dude, doing. What if, I, I'm still mad. I'm still fucking angry. Oh my god. I can't. One like, hassle, hassle. he is so gross, dude. He's so fucking gross. Who the fuck subscribes to this guy? Seriously. If you subscribe to this fucking basement dwelling freak who's literally like, oh, your content fucking sucks now. Oh, it's just like the worst kind of fucking. That's the worst kind of fan. They're doing that exclusively so they can get one on you. Charlie is out of it, so prepare yourself to be the center of attention for the next two days for these two weirdos because he capitulated and you did not. Now you're going to be in the center of the shitstorm and I can't handle it. I'm just not going to fucking respond after this. I would have never watched that dude's video. I would have never watched anyone's uh, video. I'm only watching Charlie's videos.
If Charlie doesn't do another video on it, I just will not watch it and I will not respond to it. I'll just fucking ban and move on. Uh, and also the other guy, Jay, who uh, both me and Charlie reacted to one fucking time. Uh, uh, unfortunately, and I'm uh, so sorry that I did that. Like I've apologized a year ago uh, and then said he was right a year ago. Um, you know, that's uh, it's ridiculous to continuous to uh, continuously bring that up over and over again. It's not like I fucking murdered someone. Chill out, dude. But you're still talking about it because you're a fucking idiot. Chill out, dude. Charlie liking the J video is weird. They spend a decent amount of time just shitting on you. I mean, dude, I asked Ludwig and Ludwig said the same thing. He's like, dude, you just took fat L's on that one. Like L after L after L. I, I didn't actually watch the video itself. I have no idea what the fuck's in it. Jay's video was fucking bad too, man. Yeah, I didn't actually watch the video itself. I have no idea what the fuck's in it. And uh, like he probably presented it in a way that makes it seem like I'm a fucking huge villain. You know what I mean? And I get heated. Uh, I speak for eight hours continuously, so it's probably very easy to like whip me up into a frenzy and then uh, whip me off, whip me up into a frenzy and then like fucking turn it into a very good hit piece. So, you know, uh, all these people agree with me in my perspective on these issues, and yet they probably still thought that it was like, you know, it looked bad for me. Ludwig's a capitalist dumbass, though. I can't even watch that anymore. No, Wait, what? No, he's not stupid at all. What the fuck are you talking about? I love Ludwig. Fuck you. I assume there's like clip chimping and shit going on. I doubt that he ever fucking mentions that I apologize for it. As soon as he found out that I didn't really appreciate his non-transformative reaction stream where he played my content, he apologized and made it clear that he wouldn't play any of my videos on his streams again. Like, I'm, I'm, I assume there's like clip chimping and shit going on. I doubt that he ever fucking mentions that I apologize for it uh, and, and agree with his perspective that like you shouldn't watch people who don't want to be watched. They're correct if, they say, if they're like, I don't want you to react to my videos. Which is kind of a weird response to a comment in which I actively tell him I'm fine with him reacting to my content. It's not, if you see this, I'm happy for you to react to my videos. It doesn't, it's uncharitable, but the takeaway was react harder and shout out more. Yeah, I mean, that's like, that's fucking stupid. Like, I already do, and, and I will continue to do so. And the react harder thing is ridiculous, like... Not all from Dark Viper. I think JXE did a really great job with it, to be honest. But yeah, it's something I don't that I think JXE did a good job. I haven't seen that fucking video, but there's zero percent chance that that person legitimately made themselves look charitable other than just as an opportunity to make it seem as though this was actually regular charitable criticism, especially considering that that person, one, got mad about me watching their video a year ago, okay? At the time, I literally immediately apologized and agreed with them. And then they tried to fucking immediately come on my show. They were like, let me out. Let me on. Let me on. And Hassan, stop talking about a video you didn't watch. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> I don't have to watch it to know that it's uncharitable. Okay. Just take the L L M A O. Exactly. This is the type of fucking idiot that comes in here as a consequence of this person fucking still consistently fucking, uh, you know, farming, uh, engagements like hate engagements. Okay. It's really fucking gross. It's really disgusting. One, not only did I fucking apologize for it one year ago for a five minute video that I watched, okay, um, that he thought I wasn't actually watching, even though I was like, I was watching it on my phone, okay. Um, he went and straight up made an entire fucking video back then, despite me apologizing for it and saying I agree with him because I did not have him on my broadcast. He wanted to come on the broadcast, and I was like, nah. At that point, I was like, no shot. The reason why he figured out I watched his video to begin with, as I'm sure if he hasn't deleted those tweets from way back when, because I still remember it, okay? The reason why, the reason why he even knew that I was watching it is because he posted his analytics. He posted his metrics, showing a major fucking bump in his view counts on that video. Most YouTubers don't mind that, actually love that shit when Twitch streamers react to their videos because they That's get a, a fucking word. fat bump. Best. Because they That's get a fucking word. fat bump. Best. And he posted it on his fucking Twitter. He was like, I wonder who's watching this now. And then found out that it was me, turned around and got very upset because I wasn't reacting hard enough. Okay. And then oh, turned around. And, and made a video a year ago. Then he multiple, throughout the multiple times throughout the past year, despite the fact that I already apologized for it and agreed with him and said, I'm never going to watch his videos ever again. 
okay? Because I did not have him on my broadcast immediately, okay? Because I did not have him on my broadcast immediately, he literally fucking made multiple videos, went on podcasts with like actual fucking Nazis and Sargon of Akkad, eight hour long reactions to my fucking stream, which I don't even have a problem with. Go ahead, have fun. They made multiple eight hour long fucking podcasts with a bunch of fucking Nazis and shit like that. So that's ridiculous. And it's been an entire year and he's still making fucking videos about me watching a video of his one year ago. So what do you expect me to find uh, charitable in that situation? That's fucking crazy. Okay, so I blocked them and I wanted to move on, but his fucking weirdo fan base still is getting in here and still trying to get me to fucking react to it when the original point is that he doesn't want me to react to his video. So why would I do that? So you turn someone into a Nazi because you didn't react hard enough? Let me fail. I don't think that person is actually a fucking Nazi or whatever, I, but I do think that that person does not have a problem, you know, hanging out with Nazis as long as those Nazis are fucking shitting on me. You spit on my face and expect me to say thank you. I can't believe it's raining. Okay, you're pissing on my face and, and asking me to say it's fucking raining and I should be happy about it. Like if someone has made this much content out of one fucking infraction that is literally not only minor, but something that I already agreed with and apologized for one fucking year ago, then I'm sorry. I'm not going to fucking assume that this is like a reasonable person. I'm not going to assume that this is a reasonable criticism. I'm going to assume, perhaps correctly, that this person is farming negative hatred so that they can, you know, pick up on all of the people that fucking already despise me on the internet. There's plenty of them. They actually seem to want you to react to that video based on Twitter. They were saying some shit about you not engaging with arguments. Of course I'm not going to. Why would I give them what they want? Because they want me to engage with their arguments because it's going to fucking give them more clout. That's the point. Because which completely destroys the original and diminishes the original fucking take. I already engaged with the number one article. I mean, the number one fucking criticism, which was the, the number one criticism, which was don't react to my videos. And I said, yes, you're right. I'm sorry. If you're saying react harder, that's ridiculous, but I will just not react to your shit ever again. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's actually fucking crazy. There are still people who are, and I've already given so much fucking uh, more attention to this than I should. And no, I don't think like, I don't even need to fucking see the, I don't even need to see the actual video to, to oh, assume God, that the video is like good faith. I've seen so many other, uh, I, I, the, so many other things that this person has done that leads me to believe that they are not being in any way, shape, or form, good faith in their criticism. Their good faith, the, the, the way that they're seeming good faith, they're seemingly behaving in a good faith capacity, is specifically so dummies like you will turn around and think, oh, this person is just making good faith criticisms. See, this is what I mean. Like, man, this sucks. You're being super close-minded about this and making it seem way more unreasonable than it is. No, dude, you don't want to see it as an unreasonable thing, okay? That's what it is. That's what it is. That's what it is. I'm not talking about react harder. I'm not talking about, like, why haven't you fucking addressed that uh, you shouldn't watch people's content without consent? Why haven't you addressed that uh, whatever? Like, you're doing this. You're doing this right now. You are the reason why it's, like, impossible for me to ever fucking, uh, like, to ever respond to something. Uh, normally, dude. You fucking weirdo. How do you not understand, random guy? Literally, random guy. If someone has made videos about you over the course of the past fucking year for a thing that you're apologized for, then that person is not being serious and sincere. I want you to fucking understand, dude. I want you to understand. I want you to fucking respond to me. Making it seem way more unreasonable than it is. It hurts how to see arguments you make about other things because you are literally making assumptions of calling bad faith with no engagement. Just weak, bro. Instead of banning you, I'm, I'm putting you on the fucking spot. I get that, dude, but it isn't an apology he's after. Yeah, I know what he's after, dumbass. He's after me reacting to his video, just like he wanted to come on the stream. I know that already, okay? I know that. He just wants clout. That's what he's after, and you're giving it for him. Right, I'm moving. I'm banning, and I'm moving on. I've already given so much. I've already given so much. He wants attention. That's it.
The video isn't that bad. It's mostly just react harder. Jay also said he didn't think you shouldn't watch the video. Just that I know he doesn't think I don't, I shouldn't watch the video. He wants me to watch the video. I'm not giving it into him. I'm not giving into that demand because it's farming. You're not a content creator, so you don't understand how this works. I feel like since he hooked you once, he owns the incident. The only way he'd let that go that year ago incident is if you gave him a new incident to make more content on. The only way to win is not to play. Exactly. That's it. So I don't want to play. I don't want to play anymore. So these fucking weirdo fans need to shut the fuck up and leave. Okay. Don't watch Nerd City. They hate YouTube. Whoever linked this knows. Wait, really? Nerd City hates me. Why? I've watched some of their videos. They're fucking really good. They hate me? Are you sure? Okay, I won't watch their video then. Your YouTube content is there when I ain't got nothing else left to talk about, dude. Let's be straight about our business. What does take pride in your work mean? I don't know. The need to humiliate people, sometimes you need to make an example out of them. Even clip channels are being annoying and commenting in the description on how you're wrong. Why are they clipping me then? Like, if my own fucking clip channels are clipping all of my videos to make money, why are you fucking clipping wrong information then? If that's the case. And then fuck you, dude. Don't make me DMCA your bitch asses. I will destroy the Hasanabi Clips industrial complex. I have, I will make what Russia is doing to Ukraine look like little kisses to the Hasanabi Eclipse industrial complex. Do you understand me? Motherfuckers are literally posting my YouTube videos uh, from my fucking Twitch, stealing this shit because I allow them to so they can make money off of it just to make me look fucking bad or shit on me. What the fuck is this? No content creator takes criticism well. I mean, that's true, but I would go so far as to say that I am way more fucking manageable uh, in comparison to like 99% of content creators it, with respect to taking criticism, which everyone will laugh at and say that's wrong because you've only fucking seen clips of me uh, yelling at a chatter. But I routinely admit my mistakes. I routinely say that I was wrong. I apologize when I'm wrong. And all the people that are now memeing and saying copium is funny, and I'm not going to ban any of you, even though I should. Um, but, you know, you've been in here for long enough. You know that. The only people I fucking lose my shit on are motherfuckers who make, like, entire careers out of, like, literally... Literally fucking going ape shit buck wild, cutting as many videos as possible anytime there's even a mere mention.